think why they had to find the back door on the landing. It it, uh, it made sense. It just fell over in the night and then proceeded to. Yeah. Fall yeah. Down well, I I guess if it's uh, I guess if uh, that was in the fall, and, and you were reasonably sure you were going to get a heavy frost, then yeah. Yeah. Well, it was Cranbrook, so that that it gets pretty cold there in the winter and the fall. So yeah. I guess the indoors was best. And they were probably going to put them in the basement at some point, is my guess, but hadn't made it yet there yet. But it did on their own. They decided to, <laughs> <laughs> to make it their way down up on their the landing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were just trying to warm up, exactly. <laughs> like, I went to go down here in the hole. I hop around. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us. I am sorry I was a few minutes late. I absolutely forgot. It was, well, I mean, I've known it was Thursday all day, but it's dark outside. My timing's off, and the week after Christmas doesn't count. I don't so think it's a real hard. week. I think we should just skip the week after. The, it's a it's a rest period. And I'm getting ready for this big event that's going to be happening here in Monterey County, and there's going to be a bunch of really fun stuff happening. There's Kyle's going to be giving a talk. Adrian's going to be giving two talks. Lee should be here. James would... better get his ass here. Wendy will be giving a talk. Jane's going to be there. I don't see anybody else that is going to be here. Caspian. Oh, Caspian's here. Maybe Caspian will be there. This is going to be a blast. I was just print. I was just getting ready to print something up on my computer and um, make a couple more decisions. And all of a sudden, my neighbor said, oh, I, I'm going to come over and say hi. <laughs> Nobody comes over and says hi. <laughs> <laughs> An hour and a half later. Anyway. So we've got a really good game scheduled for today, right? Yeah, Rob's doing the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> he texted me, he says, I don't know if anybody saw. How would we see that he texted you? Yeah. <laughs> You're all psychic, right? Well, I don't know who else he texts. You're psychic, come on. <laughs> he says, Kyle. just got home. We'll be joining around 9.30. What time is that? Uh, 7.30. Oh, so he can make it. He says, you can put me on a team, but I may not get through the entire game as the ride home was quite exhausting. Ah. So, oh, he had a, it was a long drive. He's, he had yeah. a funeral to go to. That would be 6.30. Yeah. So where would he be? Mm. Does anybody know where this 7 30 my time. Say, thank you. I don't know. Okay. Here comes Cindy. Hi, Peggy. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Howdy. Thank you. Here he comes. Okay, here comes the. Um, I usually have this already pulled up and everything, and I didn't today. Hi, Romero. And Kat's coming. She's just grabbing something to eat. So she will. I know. I just grabbed something to eat, too. Just like I said, I didn't realize that I've got <laughs> Andres mint. I've got mm -hmm. little Reese's peanut butter cups and a whole bunch of these China d dragons that are like um, cinnamon mm, things that Caspian gave me. And I've got some cashews that I got in New Zealand that are been open since New Zealand and a diet Dr. Pepper and half a bag of popcorn. So I think we're going to be all right for dinner. <laughs> I haven't eaten dinner yet. I had pop tarts for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm not a college student. I'm not a kid, but you know, you're just sticking to the pop tarts. There are milk duds somewhere. No, I'm done with the milk duds. They're gone. So how many people do you expect at this uh, Montreal County Skeptic Camp Day thingy? Mm. We haven't done it for since 2019. Oh, that's right. Before the we had one online, but th yeah. and then we didn't do it again for two years after that. Yeah. And in the past, we did track about 58 people. They're not all there the whole time. Like right. you could count 58 yeah. different names. Some people would show up for the morning hours. Some would be in the afternoon. How? What do you think? You've been, you've been to all of them, I think. I, I might have missed one, but I think I've been to almost all of them. Yeah. About fifty-ish people in the room. Yeah, That's pretty what good crowd. I, I kind of expect a little bit more because we have we have such um, you know we have a reputation more now, and we've got people coming from so far away. Adrian, a lot of people are going to want to come to see you because this is you know a treat to have you come all the way out. We've never done anything on the Sunday after. That's how, it's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. James, you saw that, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Who else is somebody who's within the path of being able to go? Carolyn will be there. 
I got my tickets for Winchester. Are you going to do both tours or are you just going to do one tour? Oh, both. And then, and I, I have a deal with Paula. I don't know if she's playing tonight, but we're going to drive up separately. Although we're going to stay in the same um, house. Yeah. In the same house, but we're going to drive up separately because if I can talk Heather and Emery into watching Jackie for one extra day, I'll stay for Monday also. I'll find That'll out. That'll be a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. That'd be great. I would love to be there. Let's see what happens. It, it's, I, I don't, I mean, I'm really grateful that I have Jackie have a place to go and stay where he's wanted. Yeah. I was, I was hoping you'd be able to bring Jackie up, but I, yeah. you know, the, the, the Airbnb yeah, I got, they don't even want you to take your shoes off on. <laughs> I know. And they, and they, and they have, they don't have a dishwasher. It's like, what is life without a dishwasher? Oh, I don't use a dishwasher. <laughs> I never used one. I, I, I don't even have a logan. long time. I hand washed. I had a beautiful window that looked out on a park and I could see what was going on in my neighborhood, but you know, I don't live there anymore. So I don't know anything about dishwashing without, I, it would just oh, sit it's... there empty if I had one. <laughs> I thought so too, but it turns out you get used to it. <laughs> It's I had a beautiful. portable one when I was in a rental once. You connected it to the sink and just like rolled it around. Yeah. yeah, it was great. I had one of those. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I just complained to Brad one time. I said, oh, my back kind of hurts. And he took me out to Sears and he got me one of those. It, mm. They could sort of roll around and yeah, the way or, or just leave it and use it for an extra surface. In sure. The kitchen. Yeah, this one. That was the, that was the trip to camp, aren't you? Peggy's going, right? I'll be there Saturday, yeah. Awesome. Ooh, nice. Cindy will be there. Yeah. Do you have a, you um, have a Friday night plan yet? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to plan a Friday night. I, I think it's going to be London Bridge Pub. I just haven't finalized it. I was waiting to get a couple days. It's not, it's not, it's not like it's a formal event or anything. We're just going to be hanging out. Um. So that'll be right. Karen, Karen will be there. Well, yeah. Well, she's she's right. Right. There's a bunch of your friends from the neighborhood that that i'm looking forward to seeing again yeah, well monday Las Vegas. Monday we're going to do the Steinbeck <laughs> museum and then we're going to go to michael's and we can hang out should be fun anyway so let's get off the topic and let's get started to this hey rob's michael's. here what's michael's is that the store michael's mm -mm. oh no, it's a restaurant <laughs> it's a mexican restaurant Ooh, that's much better mm -hmm. small. <laughs> i agree adrian the default michael's is the store yeah, it's pretty weird to go hang out at Michael's. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're gonna learn crap. Got the <laughs> best tacos there. <laughs> tacos at Michael's? What? <laughs> how many how many people have I taken to Michael's in, in Old Town Salinas? Yeah. I've been to Michael's a million times, but not that one. Oh yeah. And yeah, there's one, the 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 one here. Yeah. Got a sandwich yeah. board out in front. Mm. The, you it's know, a small, like, it's a small Mexican it. restaurant in Old Town Salinas, but there's Mexican restaurants everywhere. This is just mine. It's like your yeah. local. It's something we don't have here, and if it is, it's um, it's mucho burrito. That's it. <laughs> it's not a lot of different thing. Richard Saunders goes, and I've taken him a couple times, and he cleans his plate. He almost licks it off. Well, I know he talks about, has told me about that restaurant a few times. <laughs> It's just, and it's just a generic Mexican restaurant. It's not like a, like a fancy. No, yeah. it's just it's like a mom and pop kind of thing. That's it's yeah, but like New Zealand food. and Australia and stuff. They have Asian, but they don't have the I Mexican think, food. No. That's the same as Canada. We have wonderful Asian restaurants here: Vietnamese, Thai, you name it. In, in Indian uh, hit or miss, but uh, no Mexican. We yeah. do, I would say we do, but it's not the same. It's not. It's just kind of fast food. I thought it would be yeah. everywhere. It's odd to go places and not see Mexican food to me. I well, know. Mexican it's so much here, it's the Mexican food here is kind of like fast food. Also in America, there aren't that many fancy Mexican restaurants. They're mainly trust me, it's uh, fancy compared to what the offerings are. Yeah, Mark just showed me the paper. He says, <laughs> Look, new Mexican restaurants opening up. Closer it's, to that. We the best Mexican, Mexican restaurant. I the best Mexican restaurant I ever went to was in Banff, Alberta. Back oh. in 1978, I doubt I want, it's still I, there. <laughs> I was going to say, I doubt it's still there. There is a really good Mexican restaurant uh, that is in Canmore, but that's like an hour drive from here, and I'm not going to go and do that unless we're going to the mountains. So, 
Carl and I found one in St. Louis, St. Louis, and um, almost the last I was there, and it was pretty good, but it's a little fancy. Is that still going, Carl? Yep, it's still there. He hasn't eaten there, have you? Uh, I have eaten there once since then. Okay, it was a very nice little place. I don't go out to eat that often. Oh, I do every chance I possibly can. Hi, Kevin. Good to see you. Oh, hi, Kevin. Is everybody ready? Yep. <clears throat> Faith is joining us, right, Romero? You've got the camera already set up for her to be there. So this is the last one of uh, 2023. Wow. Oh, right. that's, that's amazing. That's, um, that's amazing. 195 games today. Wow. Thank, thank, thanks for filling in, folks, who took the categories at the last minute for me. Yeah. So Rob, had, welcome, do you Rob. want to say where you were, Rob? Uh, yeah, my, my uncle passed away on... Um, when was that Tuesday? And because he's Jewish, they do the burial very quickly. So that was today. And I actually have my background up because I worked with him when I joined this the aerospace industry in RCA in 1981. And his previous history was designing the power system for putting man on the moon. Oh, wow. The module. Wow. So, yeah, I worked with him for almost two decades. So I was, I was closer to him than any of my actual blood relative uncles. He's my wife, wife's uncle, okay. actually. Yeah. Um, picture. So it was, a, it was a moving day. I'm sorry for That's your sad. loss. That's yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Rob. How far away? You said the drive was so oh, long. It's a, it, it, well, the, uh, all the family and, and the cemeteries for the family are on the other side of New York City from us. So, mm -hmm. on you know, on a work day, that's just a disaster. And, yeah. you know, yeah. in the middle of the night, it would be two hours. It was three hours to get home. Oh, wow. Oh. Bumper to bumper for half of that way. It was just horrible. Oh, so, dude. anyway, yeah, I got home in time to start it, which I thought I could possibly do. But I'm so exhausted. I'm not thinking I'm going to make it through the whole game anyway. No, so no, we got you covered. Just as well that everyone was nice enough to take the categories. Yeah, so, and I think that yeah, people, I should use this moment to warn people ahead of time. You should always write a category and have an extra <laughs> one when you think about it, because if you if you know we're you always know. having somebody who can't do a category, and I don't know who to ask. Sometimes I just ask people because they're right there, and I ask them. But you know, always let me know if there's somebody if you think that you want to do an extra category is an emergency. We do it all the time, and you guys always step up, and it's uh, it's been wonderful. So who who is, who uh, who's doing the categories tonight? Okay, so that's a great question. So let's look and see who it is who is going to be doing the categories. Who's I put you on for the entire next week. Oh, no, no, not the next week. <laughs> but January 11th, I'm going to be gone. So Ooh, I just so, put you in that spot. So, so we'll that's to... somebody will be able to run the game. I'll run the game also then. Okay. Or uh, unless someone else wants to do that. Well, you could have somebody who can run the game with the powers with the. Um, zoom mm -hmm. link but mm -hmm. you could just handle the categories whatever you guys want to do but that's i'll be on a plane so i won't be able to do it mm. i'm going to be in south carolina what? i'm going to go see uh, what nikki haley's thinks of that's my least favorite of the carolinas <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh -huh. I have, mark's got a mentalism conference that he's going to be uh speaking at uh, and he's so excited and nice. it's going to be a blast. So we're going to be leaving like Skeptic Camp and then boom to South Carolina. So this should be interesting. I, I'm the, I, I'm uh, obviously going to be in. I think I, I, he might want to do a, a, a category. That well, that week, the 11th, it's going to be all Rob. Well, all right. Well, that's his only. Uh, well, he <laughs> might be in. Uh, he's coming in, but he's coming in in the evening. Uh, no, he's going to come in next. So that's like that's the only evening he has. You want to put me in? I, I thought you would just put me to next week, Susan. You want to do that? No, because I have Gail, Karen, and Ron. Okay. I don't want to bump them. Okay. So. Yeah, it makes okay, sense. So can Avi do the eleventh? Well, he could be here. <laughs> well, he wanted to do. I just so I, I he wanted Are you to sure do. Sure, he wants to do a category. Are you bowling? I told him. I told him he he wants to. What do you want? I think I think he I think he I think he'd like to anyway. All right. Well, then you need more people and bump me to the following week, Susan. He was he was voluntold to do one. Voluntold. Well, I mean, Rob, you can do all but but one. No, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work regarding balancing the teams and everyone being fair. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. uh, I, I know he'd like to do it. But, okay, uh, so let's put let's put Avi in because we haven't had Avi here in ages. Mm -hmm. So, 
Okay, so is Robert he, go, is he going to do it all in German? <laughs> right. And it's all math. Like, all math in German. Math right? in German. Oh, math in German, yeah. Okay, so I'm putting Lavi on for the 11th, and Rob, you're going to run the physical game. Uh, right? Okay. 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 Uh, he's doing the whole game? No, no, he's just going to do a category. So I'll need people for <laughs> January 4th, and I will need people for January I'll play 11th. Susan that day, so I'll, I'll start the session, etc. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. We got we got this, you guys. We've only done it 195 times. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll get good at it. <laughs> okay. We might repeat things often enough that we'll learn them. Hey, Mike. Hi, no. Kat. Don't get silly. Hi, no. Hi Gail. Okay. That's a little Hi, high Hi, Susan. Do you remember my um my college roommate who was who joined us one time? When yeah. yeah. When, okay, she, uh, she and her husband, who came to PsyCon, not this last one, but the one before, I think they're going to join us tonight. I just sent them the link. They're in Florida, aren't they? They're in Florida in the in the wintertime and in New York in the summertime. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, it'd be great if we had them. Okay, so I'm going to make the category, um, the team. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, but I we've look done this again. 198 who, times. We're gonna get it right sometimes. Yeah, it? I gotta look really quick again and who I have for. I'm just a little discombobulated. She's still working. not awake yet. I didn't wake up till 11 oh this morning. Wow. And uh, Mark comes in and knocks on the door. Are you okay? I'm like what? And he says it's almost 11, and you're always, you know. I said, I was out like a light. I went to sleep and it was like, oh, no, I did nothing. I didn't wake up at not even for a second during the sleep night, as far as I know. That is so strange. So we're the opposite of that today. That's that's the other reason I don't think I'm going to make it through the whole game. I, I, I usually sleep till 11 at this point because I don't have a reason to get up early today to make it to the funeral and stuff. I, I had to get up at eight o'clock. So. Oh, that's awful. Uh, I my I feel like I did a time travel time zone you know jet lag thing today. Uh, like I flew. Well, and this been country. an emotional day too, and yeah, that's yeah. 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 Plus yeah. the driving at night with lights in my face and rain on the window. Uh, oh. Yeah. So your yeah, so 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 your uncle was involved with the uh, uh, the stuff in behind sitting behind you. He worked at Grumman. Uh, yeah. on Long Island, and they did the lunar module. And he was yeah. he was a power systems engineer and was responsible for the batteries. And he he became a battery expert mm -hmm. at some point in his career. He actually got awards by NASA and um, the American Aerospace in Institute. And when I worked with him at RCA, he did the battery design on pretty much every new spacecraft that we launched. So yeah, gee, that would. That, that that would have been pre lithium ion, so it was something else. That is correct. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What was it nickel nickel cadmium? Is that it? Um, yeah, he, yeah, that, yeah. Was a, that was a big chemistry at the time. Yeah, we had never done the lithium. No, that's right. That's yeah. right. And that uh, and that would be some sort of artist conception because there wouldn't have been any way to put a camera <laughs> into the side with that, when that the, uh... is true so and I, I worked with him only once directly because we were in different departments he did the power system stuff and i did structural design of the spacecraft so at one point i did the structural design of the module that held the battery so that was really cool i actually got to work with him you know hand in hand to get that right so that was cool no that that picture was taken by the ufo that uh, <laughs> was <laughs> tracking along with them <laughs> It was was benevolent enough to share with us. Yeah. Well, we uh, we um, we snagged the signal. Ah. <laughs> um, is anybody? And I think I've asked this before. Is anybody in this group from Atlanta? We don't have any Atlant Atlantites, do we? Atlanteans. Atlanteans. <laughs> um, Atlanta's There's like Michael six Man. hours from us. Why, why do you ask, Alan? Um, it's not till March, but I'm playing a concert um, in, uh -huh. in, in Atlanta. So I just wonder if there was anybody that was going to be there. Uh -huh. When in when in March? Um, I think it's the fifth. 
It's um, you we're playing. Start walking we're playing now, at, what's that? You can start walking now. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we, it's at uh, Spellman. We're going to play. Uh, uh, so it's our trip to a historically black university. So we're playing at Spellman College or University, wherever it is. Wow, I think we have more people than we normally have here. Wow. I'll, I'll say one more thing about my uncle. Part part of the thing that makes it amazing he got to work on that project and help people for the first time land on another celestial body is that he came very close to dying in Nazi Germany. Oh, he wow. he and his family, he, he he was in Dresden when the when the city was bombed. Oh, and, he's that old. And wow. And being being Jewish, you know, he was a target all the time. But his family finally like got false ID papers, and he lived his late teenage years or early teenage years as a undercover Gentile, not or undercover Jew, pretending to be a Gentile, mm -hmm. and, and basically living in fear that he would come of age where it would be suspicious that he hadn't been inducted into the armed services, because then they'd find out, oh, uh, why are you circumcised? Yeah. You know, and, mm -hmm. and that would have been a death sentence. And they got out of Germany just in time for that and wow. migrated to America with basically nothing. So it, it's quite an astounding story. Wow. That, that is amazing. Just, Wait a minute. He was, just, he was in Dresden while it was bumped. So he was, in the he was actually in the train station is the story. Yeah. Okay. So that, so what, what it meant, meant he got out of Germany after the war ended? No, no, it was before that. Somehow his family got out. Oh, okay. I just um, bought a book on audiobooks um, um, called The Forgers, and it's it's more than you ever wanted to know about the the people who forged the papers that saved uh, people's lives. No. And um, mm. I haven't started it yet. I'm I'm actually right now I'm in the middle of Michael Shermer's book, Denying History, about Holocaust denial. Mm. Oh wait a minute! I have to turn this off there <laughs> but um um yeah i'm sinking myself into um into jewish history right now good for you if you haven't read rachel maddow's book do i i i heard the um the um podcast that it was based on and then i bought the book and now I'm listening. I have that on my audiobooks also. The new one, not the old one. The old one's good, but the new one. You're talking. The new one is because... about. It's about this particular topic. It's about the Americans who supported before we got into the war in World War II. They yes. supported Hitler. Yes. They wanted us oh, in the yeah, war, yeah. but on the other side. I, I listened to the podcast. That was amazing. Yeah. Her podcast was. If you were impressed by the podcast, you will love the book because the podcast just went over a few details. She has the whole story. She's so in good that. at telling stories. And I can tell you, I thought yeah. I knew, knew about that history and I didn't know about most of this. Yeah. So yeah. there was, uh, okay, I guess there would have been sort of three. There is the people, the people who thought that the uh, U.S. should get into the fight against Hitler, the ones who just wanted to stay isolated. And I get, and, and you see, there were at least a few who thought that not a few. Were, that not a few. There was a whole movement. I mean, it's really well. Uh, Lindbergh, Charles Lindbergh was Lindbergh and Henry Ford, Ford. Yeah. and Henry Ford, but also Henry, other Henry. people that I'd never heard of because there was yeah. an actual movement that wanted us in the war on the side of dictatorship. Yeah, the dictators, of, and we're hearing that right now. I mean, the yeah. comparison we think we keep saying this is unprecedented. It's not unprecedented. Gail and there because we survived the last time. Gail yeah. and there were a surprising number of Jews who wanted the, the America to stay out of uh, stay out of the war and not get in because they were so worried about how other Americans would feel about that they were not true Americans because they wanted America to get involved in the war. And yeah, same same shit now. Wow. It was the uh, Jews that led the American Jews that uh, some American Jews that uh, opposed the uh, landing of the uh, steamship uh, St. Louis in the U.S. And they had to go on to uh, find a port. They would not they didn't want them here. Yeah, I can believe that. God, oh, this is so depressing. We're going to go it to breakout rooms. Welcome, Carol. 
Just one more thought, though, is that I'm really glad that a bunch of skeptics are sitting here talking about it. Well, that's true. And, that's the, and true. because yeah. it's um, because it's I, I've, I've explained to you before, Susan, I mean, like the, the I've never been scared like this before. I've always it sounds terrible past because my name never gave me away. My parents never gave me away my that that my my family was all reform jews like like to have christmas trees since my grand you know when my grandmother was young and the and um and it's i i feel like i've been sympathetic to my other friends who are in you know other minorities and, and i have suffered discrimination that i wasn't sympathetic enough and I was talking to some friends about it and they said, no, 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 you're very sympathetic. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it's it's the first time I personally have been so scared that I'm looking for things that Rachel Maddow has talked about in her, you know, like on the podcast and now in the book prequel and the, and I mean, it's. Bam, my, my uncle, Steve, every time I talk to him the last two years, um, he was very concerned that it was going to happen in America. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I have some too. I have some friends who 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 were just in, they were in Europe recently on a tour, and they they uh, they they not Jewish, uh, they uh, Catholic family. They they made friends with a Jewish couple, and everywhere that they went, this couple would stop and go to a Jewish section of the of the town. They made small towns, big towns, the cities, everywhere they went, every single one, and they were finding. Uh, uh, markers identifying families that were deported, that were murdered, that were all this stuff. And uh, my friend said, well, they were well, well acquainted with, you know, uh, the Holocaust. But it was the first time that they realized this wasn't just in big cities. This was virtually everywhere. And they said mm -hmm. they it, they couldn't believe it. They they thought they knew and they didn't, you know, that. And yeah. And it's uh, and and in a, in a country like Germany. You know, I, we're we're not immune to that stuff. No, we're not. Unfortunately, we have to be aware and learn. And two quick things: I just got breaking news. Maine has kicked Trump off the ballot. I haven't read that. Secretary of State headline. made a decision. Yeah, and so oh, that's going to go. It's going to go through the courts there now, though. Well, he's either going to be on all the ballots or none yeah, of the ballots. Yeah. It looks like now. And then the other uh, thing is, I just heard on the news. This morning, another book that has come out that looks fascinating. It was that a lot of Southerners in Alabama actually fought for the North. They went to the North to fight for the North in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And there's, the, but their history has been completely erased because there is a segment of, of our society that wants people to think the Southerners did not, uh, that, you know, just that. Yeah they don't they they've erased these people's history so there was yeah. a book about the invisible invisible anyway i'll find the name of it but i thought it was an interesting another read i don't need any new books i am overwhelmed with books i haven't started my understanding my gosh, i love that they're out there because i can't i can't um no, pass that right book here. along to us susan because we have to do a lot of um educating around oh yeah here. yeah i'll find People it while you guys are over in your chat rooms and, uh, <laughs> In your uh, breakout room, my understanding is that the uh, it, is that the people who uh, uh, lived in the Appalachians and uh, uh, basically because uh, the plantation agriculture didn't work uh, had no enthusiasm for keep, keep keeping slavery. Yeah. It's part they of also, that. They really also hated states' rights. Yeah, a lot of people in the South who hated states' rights as well. Yeah, because that was. Oh, well, I guess I'll go to the. We have to go to our rooms. Go to your room, Wendy.
Hi there. Hi. I just got to, they just went to the rooms. So I just need to figure out where I'm going to put you at. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a feeling that this group that has a lot of people in it that I think are, they are going to have a lot of people who are leaving early. So I'm going to just sign you to room one, even Thank though it looks know. full. Thank you. I have a suspicion that they're going to leave at break. Oh, and there's two Kevins in there. So it'll be great. I just put everybody on the brand order. I just put everybody on the brand order. Bye. Bye. Nice person. Uh, she's a good person. See, she brought me Christmas cards. She said, nobody wants to be poker with me. But I thought I'd do it with my parents first. I've had a bunch of people today. By, by trivia game, it looks like it's a bunch. I haven't had this many people in a while. I guess I should unrecord. And I, you know what I don't understand? I don't understand this Zoom thing. I don't know why they've got it. So it's so strange. Hi, Caspian. How how it's so strange the way they do things, but. When I went back and looked at the Thursday um, Thanksgiving Day event that Adrian had had run, um, no no screenshot showed up. So every time when Kevin came on and said, "Oh, what is this object?" I'm like, "What object?" It was just the gallery view. There was no weird. There was nobody there. I have to ask Adrian if she if when she shared a screen, if there's something that she didn't share or. Uh, and then whenever they go to scores, it, people would be like, show us the scores. And there was nothing. And she would talk about how she was showing in the scores. I'm like, there's no scores here. But it didn't record. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Is Adrian here back yet? Yeah. So it was strange. Adrian, I was, I noticed, um, I was just telling Rob that the Thanksgiving Day uh, a game, when I rewatch, when I watched it just the other day, it sh did not show any screen shares. So when Kevin showed his really? his pictures of whatever it is, the objects you guys were guessing, it never showed up. Now, we're used to the idea that the breakout rooms don't record, which is really strange. Why would it record for me, but not you guys? So weird. Right. Yeah. And it didn't record any screenshots. So I'd anytime you, you said, I'm going to screen share, did not share. So I don't know Interesting. if it's... Interesting. I don't know. I You would think that somebody would have figured this out by now with Zoom, but... Well, the breakout room thing, I think, is just a matter of whether you're recording to the cloud or whether you're recording locally. You record locally, right? I always record to my computer. So right. that's, that's so, so it's capturing whatever you're seeing. But when you record to the cloud, it's recording the main room. And yeah, and it will record the main room the whole time. It just, it like, yeah. Right. And I did record to the cloud. So I think that's the issue is I needed to record to my computer and then upload it to. You just give me a link is all you have to do. Yeah. Because when it's all over, then Zoom will will say, um, it, it'll 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 tell you that you have a link and you can just give it to me. Right. That's yeah. really I'll do that next time. But I didn't know. I just assumed it would be better to 
save it to the cloud because then you'll have immediate access to it. Yeah, that's, so, so that's why the way I did. Are you telling me if I, I record it locally in my computer to somehow a link I can give you and Zoom will take it from my computer and give it to you? That doesn't seem reasonable. Well, you'll just be able to tell me here's the link. It, it'll but load. It'll, but it won't be itself. anywhere that you could link it because it'll be on my local hard drive. I don't understand how that well, would work. Well, I, I, get a, I get a thing and then I just take it and put it onto YouTube. I don't know. The point is, is that it will not record your, the breakout. Yeah, you have to put it into like a OneDrive or a Google Drive or something. You before you share it. Yeah, upload it to that. Yeah. Okay. We should do yeah, that. Yeah, do that. that but so that way we can have mean the... that when I've been doing the PowerPoints for my answers, you're not getting the answers. I assume that they were getting recorded. Only on Adrian Thanksgiving day when it didn't it record. Oh, okay. Any of the it, screenshots. It Where... took a holiday. <laughs> that's the only one i've never seen it do that before so i do not know but the breakout rooms if you're if you're hosting it and you have to record to your computer if you want it to record the breakout rooms it's those canadian filters they just it's block weird. everything i don't know what the problem is but my god anyway welcome back and look we have carol here hi carol nice to see hey. you all the, way, all the way over there on our the other side of the world from us nice sunny day I'm, well, it's not sunny now. And Vincent just showed up. Hi, Vincent. Oh, hey, Vincent. You just popped in right now. Just so you know, Vincent, oh. it's recording. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you you yeah. would have gotten the warning when he logged in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. And is it, and is it welcome back, him. Bill? Is it welcome back, Bill, or did I mi miss him? Yeah. Me? Yeah, last week. Last No, I've uh, been... Taking trips to the North Pole. Ooh, oh, really oh, went oh, to the North Pole? Welcome <laughs> back. I, oh, oh, yeah, oh, I've oh. been working on the a railroad, the railroad all the live long Polar day. Express. Oh, that's right. Oh, nice. He runs. He's a, a docent at a at a railroad yeah. museum. You guys. Welcome so he's back. Been, he's been taking people to the North Pole. That makes sense. Okay, you know things you guys say. It wouldn't surprise oh, me. Oh, I've really? always been very gullible, <laughs> but those seem <laughs> plausible that Bill would be long. going to the North Pole. Mute Kevin. Kevin, we so, can hear you. I'll mute him. A Adrian, so, did did you send Vincent uh, the outtake that uh, where he got mentioned from our interview? What interview? Oh, I didn't. You'll so, have to send him that. I will what have interview. to interview. What? Am I missing an interview? I heard no, it hasn't been. I don't know why they're taking so freaking long. It's been two weeks. I, I I submitted it, but I interviewed Adrian in a video interview, and there were a couple of outtakes. One of which a skeptical uh, inquirer. Vincent, Vincent, yes, Vincent gets mentioned. So I think they're on break. Get mentioned. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> just get, just roll with it, Vincent. You're part Adrian. Will, Adrian will say it to you. We're we appear yeah. all over the place. We are so connected. Yeah, but it's weird. It, is Never it in? Fun. Okay, so we're ready to start. But I am going to give you a link to this. It took me a minute to find it, but it is the the Confederate Memorial to be removed from Arlington National Cemetery. It was Lawrence O'Donnell on MSNBC. That's where I saw. It, it took me a while to find it, but the book. Um, is called Silent Calvary, How Union Soldiers from Alabama Helped Sherman Burn Atlanta and Then Got Written Out of History. And I always wanted to do what would you do? My master's on, on uh. Sherman. And um, I didn't. But in Caspian says, Samuel Phillips Lee, a nephew of the famous General Lee, remained loyal to the North. George Henry Thomas and Winfred Scott were also Virginians who remained loyal and extremely prominent Union commanders. There's a lot, there's probably a lot more that did, but this one, the silent Calgary, when you listen to the interview that he does for Lawrence O'Donnell, it's only a couple of minutes long. It, it talks about why and, and why they were written out. It's very, yeah. there's so much history that we don't know. It's, it amazes me that people have such strong opinions of things when they really don't they, know. They, yeah. they, they're, they only know, you know, there's just so much to know anyway. All right. So let's do, let's, before we get started on uh, yeah conversation which i'm sure would be very interesting we need to get to trivia so let's go over here uh room one we i gave you kevin the second kevin uh, <laughs> we have two kevin i had a feeling that carol uh um carol would probably be dropping out early because she's in you're in florida right carol you're on mute dude 
so I figured that you might end up leaving early because of that. So I, I thought, right, Carol, you're still on mute. You're muted. Chippy, you're Chippy, muted. She might recognize that you're talking to her. Carol. Everybody calls her Chippy who knows her. Chippy, Chippy, there okay. You there you Chippy go. is my nickname. Carol is when I sign checks and papers and oh, okay. so we'll just, stationary. Just call yourself <laughs> Chippy then. That's it. Take well, I can't know because I, I'm, I'm president of another organization where I have to use Carol and Chippy. Okay, well, I'm going to take it to Chippy right now because okay. nobody will know. And it, it'll right. default back. So Chippy. Okay. Okay. Really that chipper? Makes Chippy stock. Okay. Well, what's funny is 50% of the population in my building are French Canadian, and I speak French, but the problem, the issue is that it's not a nice word in French, chippy. Chippy? Oh. What does chippy. it mean? Well, it could mean hooker, it could mean uh, it, uh, you don't know what you're doing, it, it, and, and they can't pronounce it very uh. well, so they choose Carol. So all the French-speaking Canadians call me Carol. Because everybody knows I have two names, and everybody else calls me Chippy. So to describe a hooker who doesn't know what they're doing, it's a Chippy Chippy. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> hey, nowadays Sorry. you can get a podcast just from having that description. So I mean, somebody <laughs> somebody's going to make you a star. Well, there's a lot more behind it too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I you thought can do a whole the whole first session on it. Uh, yeah, I figured. And if you're, you're and if you're feeling happy, you're a Chippy. chippy. Chipper Chippy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the puns here are in, impossible. Anyway, so Gerald, Gerald, Gerald. Chippy. Chippy. No, Gail is what I Gail. tried to say. <laughs> I called him Gerald. Because Karen's written right after Gail. So Gail, Karen, Kevin Dolan, Leonard, Chippy, and Kevin Mocker. What is your team name today? We're in the interregnum between Faustus and New Year's. If it's trivia, it must be Thursday. There you go. What is that word you said? Inter <laughs> interregnum. 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 You can do it, Susan. That's a lovely word. Yes. Interregnum. Oh. All right. No, there's no L. <laughs> no L. We didn't pick that word because you, you'd have trouble with it. You did pick it because <laughs> I'd have trouble with it. No, nah, we wouldn't do that. Inter interrelum. Interrelum. No L. There's no L. She's adding consonants. How sweet. Inter Reglum. <laughs> oh, I have no okay, idea. Well, uh, oh, well, it's a Christmas word. It's no no L. Oh. Oh, very good. As I that's said, the oh. question, oh, the, just the puns here. Are was that James? That was Jim. I think it was Jim. Jim. Yeah, Wonderful. Jim. All right. So team number two, Jim, Kat, Kyle, Mike Wolf, Faith and Romero, who are you tonight? Uh, Dad, mom, mom always liked you better. Aww. Aww. Mom always liked you better. Obviously, not a smother's it's brother's a, brother's it's a, brother's it's brother's a smother's brother. Oh, Tom, mom always liked you better. Okay, I get it. Put it in the that chat so I can see what it looks and like. And by the way, the smother's brothers may. Um, Dick, rest in peace, uh, lived in Salinas, uh, Susan's town in my town, uh, for a period of time. They are local boys. They went to San Jose State. Where do they live? Uh, they lived over by Mission, went to Mission Park School in South Salinas. I didn't know that. Or maybe Thanks. I didn't like know that. Giving maybe away didn't know information that. for a very good category of people. That's right around the corner from me, Mission Park School and Karen. Mission Park School's just right there, same zip code. Right there. Or their kid, their kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you want to be called mom always liked you best, not Tom. Okay. Adrian, Brandy, Caspian, Cindy, James, and I'm giving you Deborah. Hey. Autocorrect can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, kiss my ass. Oh. I thought we could say ass. Yeah, ASP. Kiss my ass. <laughs> but do an ass grasp. We can do whichever. Depends on ASP, whether or not you like kiss snakes. My ass. The snake. Oh, kiss my ass. Yeah. Okay. A decision has been made. Alan, Carolyn, Janine, Peggy, Ron, and Ron. Ron and Ron, did you say? Ron, Ron. Ron and Ron. Uh, so um, let's see. 
Ron was was answering my questions about how he got the uh, little dog in between his first and last name. It's a cat. So, you, don't, you don't need to yeah. tell them the whole story. No, I guess so. So, so we were discussing emojis, and and that's why we came up with uh, with this one, Zoom emoji madness. Oh, and it's yeah. got a unicorn. But you have to read the unicorn too. And that's a cat, I think. I, I doubt no, you. No, you have to say unicorn. So you have to emoji emoji unicorn. Unicorn Zoom emoji, Zoom emoji, unicorn emoji, madness. Emoji, unicorn madness. I can say that. And here comes my cat who wants to know why the door is not. The door is cracked open, but not completely open. So he's going to meow until somebody opens the door to at least this much so he can go out of it because he can't figure out how to get. Oh, right. Susan, did you say that? Did you see that they correctly renamed your article in Skeptical Confire? Yeah, they renamed my article and okay, they put good. the pictures in it. He's like, okay. I don't know how they did that. They named it like. My article that just came out, it was named. It was a bunch of typos. It made no it was sense. It like, psych, psych, who's the next psychic or something like that? And I said, that's not what I named. <laughs> no, it was actually it was not a grammatical sentence and there was no question mark on it either. It was very bizarre. It was like they accidentally forgot to put a title like, and just said, <laughs> what, what is this? Darn, there are people involved. I know. <laughs> well, they fixed it. Bill, I, Jane, I, I had, Carl, had Lee, a, and Wendy. Uh, well, we also... Uh... We also are going to be. Here's my proposed so, altered name. Yeah. Team two, so, two took our names, so Mama was well, like, "How about this one? Back. Miss you, Tommy. <laughs> what? Team two took our names, so Mama always liked Team two best. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a first a name collision. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Uh, oh no, we've had lots of name collisions. Really, <laughs> but not. Exact well, ones. They've, they've been exact on the ones. same topic, but they haven't been the yeah. same name or something like that. So, uh, Susan. Yes. I'm curious to know which team I'm going to go on. Oh, I haven't put you on a team yet. Ah. Oh. oh, I thought I did. You came in right. Okay, let me see. Susan's going to have to go forward in time and see which team gets the worst score. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he joined before we did anything, so. Well, that's why I said he's going to have to go yeah. through time. He'll just be on it. Well, if Jamie was here, you could tell him, but. You're going to be also on team three with Adrian, Brandy, Caspian, Jamie, James, and Deborah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, that's where you are. Okay. Yeah. So I'm almost ready. I think you guys are ready. This is December 28th, 2023, last game of the year. Mark wants to know which game, which, here, let me give you the names. No, you, you answer my question. He wants to know which team Carl is on. Oh. <laughs> I can't do that. Why not? But but it won't matter which team is Bill on. And yes. then Same team. It's, it's cheating, Mark. It's cheating. You have to figure out which one Bill Carl and Mar is on. And Carl are on the same team? I mean, I have to depend yeah. on my psychic powers. We, we can quit now then <laughs> yeah, we, you have to depend on your psychic power decided so it's you can tell you know, i don't i don't even want to you guess can tell I, mark which team carl is on he, he says he's not going to guess because he's always wrong just like a psychic okay. <laughs> so uh oh i've got to i've got to say these don't i all right so we are on december 28th 2023 last game of the year of 2023 we will never ever see 2023 again Yay. Unfortunately, uh, a game of 195 capacity. season four and every darn year i say oh my god i'm so glad this year is over and then it's hold my beer there <laughs> <laughs> is worse the next year i should have just appreciated it for what it was but no hey, susan was yes susan does the, i just realized uh does the host always end up in the same location on the box no on the grid no, because you're, no, always, up for me. you're always in the upper left hand corner the, the every week. Is that drag, drag her around? You can drag her around. Oh, ow, ow, ow. You can also drag her picture around on the screen. I just put her uh, right in the middle of mine. Hey, wait, I'm gonna put her right in the very middle. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm in the middle now. I can drag myself around. I drag her off the screen, but she just keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it has to do with the order you come back from the breakout rooms because Rob came back early, so he was up before me. And then James, Cindy, Wendy. I don't know. No, no, you, do, you, just, you just moved. Yeah, Karen okay. raised her yeah, hand. When you raise your hand, it also forces you to the front. Oh. So. All right. So here's our here's our team names tonight. 
All right, let's see. Oh, you can't move a video while someone has their hand raised. Interesting. Oh, wow, we're learning a lot about about this. Okay. That's a very annoying uh, aspect of it, by the way, because we have our, our mm -hmm. meetings every Monday, Zoom meetings are coming from religion. And when we do the Q&A, we have people raise their hand to do that. But yet, mm -hmm. sometimes I want to see certain people on the screen. And yes, it will not let you drag anything once one person has their hand up. It's annoying. Okay, here Rob, we go. You got, the, you got the emojis, Rob, and, and Janine, too. Look at that. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So during the... Between solstice and New Year's, if it's trivia, it must be Thursday. Wait, wait, you 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 must say the word, Susan. I just did. Well, what'd you say? <laughs> You're getting closer. Miss you, Tommy. Mom always liked you best. That's team two. Team three is autocorrect can kiss my asp. Team four is Zoom emoji unicorn madness. Team four, five. Team two took our name, so mom always liked team two best. <laughs> all right so game number 195 season four we are still a ways away from hitting season five for our team because we don't do that until what is it may when's our year june is it june might be june i can't quite remember now it's it's coming up it's not even close so right. yeah, so we we've got a ways to go so we're still in season four of our of our long season all right are we ready? Our leaders tonight are Gail, starting out. You know that, right, Gail? Yep, I'm okay. ready. Where are you? And then followed by Gail, we're going to do um, Kat, then Adrian, then Peggy, then Carl. So what I am trying to do, oh, June 11th, 2020. Somebody make, make a note of that. Uh, so one of the things I also noticed on some of the recordings is I'm going to be leaving the people I give them their powers. I'm going to leave them with their powers so that they can get themselves back into break rooms if they have to or whatever they need to do. So you'd no longer have to end up in your last room whenever I close the room or whenever you close the rooms. That's no longer going to be a thing. So here we go. We have Gail, who's already up. Let's go. It's Happy New Year. Well, and it's Happy New Year. <laughs> Because that's going to be the category tonight. Awesome. Customs, history, and kinds of New Year celebrations. And you'll see a variety, just like the fact that our New Year isn't yet. Some of these other ones aren't either. Okay. Question one. Okay. You, you will be happy to note, note uh, Rob, that I have very long answer questions this time. <laughs> historians speculate that the special speculate that the special day dates from 1592 was created when France switched from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar. With the Julian calendar, the new year began with the spring equinox. The Chaldean Babylonian New Year also happened then. We still celebrate this day, but not as the beginning of a new year. What is this unofficial holiday called? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Question two. Did we mute everybody but Gail? No. No, we're really behaving ourselves, though. Yeah, we really behave ourselves. I have to expect to. that to last. Oh. Hell, just now. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, the Jewish New Year holiday lasts for a week, with the first two days being special and often includes apples and honey for a sweet New Year. It celebrates the seven days of God's creation and ends with the Day of Atonement when there's a total fast. Give either the Hebrew name of either of those holidays or the name of the ritual horn that is blown to signal the new year. So what do you do if you want to put it out an answer? You oh, you don't it? say oh, anything you, right you, now, You Chip. wait. Oh, you wait just write it down. You're... Yeah, write oh, it on yeah. your piece of paper and then- Nobody explain the rules to her. You okay. joined us once before, but it was a year ago, so. Right, right. Yeah, so don't say okay. anything here. Question three. <laughs> The Islamic New Year begins on the epoch that started with the 
emigration of Muhammad and his followers from Mecca to Medina in 622 CE. Since it is based on a lunar year, the date will vary since the lunar year is shorter than the solar year on the Gregorian calendar. This resulted in two, if, in two Islamic New Years happening in 2008. How many days are there in this year? Oh. And it's a plus or minus five. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll make sure I post it, please. We don't want Janine mad, so you better, you know. Okay, question four. <laughs> what inhabited island nation is the first is in the first time zone to start the new year because it is 14 hours ahead of UTC? Give either the actual island name or the nation that is part of it. And I'm giving you a hint here. They are a popular cruise ship destination and are likely to be doomed by climate change. Jackie. Question five. This country makes a very big deal about the celebration of New Year's, and although the customs will vary from region to region, some are popular. Traditional <laughs> food is eaten after a deep cleaning, usqui or something like that, when every part of the house is cleaned. There are traditional foods, and children get an envelope with a bit of money, and kites are flown. Retailers will, will, will sell surprise bags where the content is hidden. What country am I describing? The Lunar Chinese New Year will be on February 10th in 2024. Every year is represented by an animal in the Chinese zodiac. The New Year will be the year of the blank. What in the animal? Seven. The new year is celebrated in India on the Hindu lunar calendar. This year it was in November, coinciding with the new moon. Celebrations last for five days. The biggest celebration is the Festival of Lights, a holiday celebrated by Indians all over the world with fireworks, lanterns, and oil lamps. What is the name of this holiday? What religion counts Christmas Day as the beginning of a new year? The Julian calendar means that the date will change, and it's usually it is and and it's usually on or near January seventh, which is celebrated as a public holiday in countries including Belarus, Egypt, Russia, Ethiopia, and Ukraine. They will fast before that before that day, which is the anniversary of the birth of Jesus. If you are on the Amer in the American South, it's traditional to eat Hop and John on New Year's Day. What is this dish? Question 10 is a long multiple choice.
which of the following is not a real American New Year tradition or superstition that your great grandmother might have enjoyed? <laughs> okay. A, decorate a New Year's tree. Questions in the chat, please. Oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay. A, decorate a New Year's tree. B, you should not clean on New Year's Day because you could wash away the good luck. Aww. C, always start the year with some cash in your pocket to ensure a prosperous year. D, open the windows to let the old year out and the new one in. E, eat exactly 12 grapes and reflect on the coming year. Each one represents one month. F, recognize that this is one day that is not about religion at all. This is the day for letting go and having fun. Or, um, G, all of these are American traditions. Okay, any questions? So I have I, maybe it's because I'm exhausted, but I don't get number three at all, what you're asking for. And if it's just me, that's good. If anyone else has a problem. Question three? Your, your team will know it. Question <laughs> three is asking how many days there are in the Islamic new, in lunar year. It says this lunar year. I didn't know if you meant, because you mentioned some dates, you said. Oh, well, uh, because there are so many different years. I'm talking about the Islamic year. There are several different kinds of, of years and calendars going on here. But this question is asking specifically. So what about, you mean is how many days are in the Islamic year? Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Sounds good. Let's go. Sinister rooms, you, you mean this current Islamic year or the one that was in 2008? The one I, I will this probably counts as a hint, but they they don't change. I I know, but it oh, was clear. It was clear. Okay. Yeah. Apparently not to everybody. Well, but your team will know, <laughs> Rob. Your team will know. Trust your team. Care yeah, Karen's the, 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 the police. She's our cheerleader. No, I'm just trying to grab every point I can. <laughs> <laughs> I hope somebody else will get. She's very com competitive. You don't realize. That. I uh, still didn't get a sign. Oh, I haven't. Okay, sorry, sorry. I see now. Uh, it takes a second for me. Okay, you guys are both going to three. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm a sign. There we are. Okay, and I'm going to win. It's just when I. She's I'm not competitive. I'm not trying to be the police, but when I know the answer, I'm like, don't ask questions. Don't uh, no, I agree with you. Else. I agree with you. <laughs> People good. should um when when Rob or somebody says something that's too much, they, there's enough information. That's enough that I know the answer. Yeah. Stop. But it's different if someone didn't hear a word to me. I'm I'm yeah. not the police, but if they didn't hear what was said, that's different than can you explain that more to me? Yeah, he should also wait till he's in his room. Yeah. Even if that's the case, just All in right. case. Let's not pick on Rob. Room. He's really tired. Okay. No, I don't on anybody. I'm just saying anybody, not just Rob. Wait what do we got here? Room. Who's in charge? Nobody. Uh Gail offered to be the secretary. Would you still no, but, like but, to but share but your screen? Just gave the Gail question. can't be the secretary. Oh, Gail can't be. Is there anyone that would like to share their screen with the questions? If not, we could just write them down. Old school. I've I've only got one screen, so that makes it hard. Okay, I I, I know I know I know three of the three of the I know two and a half of really? the really two and a half. Where are they? Yeah, I, I know I know a few of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so we could display so I, the chat, and we you know each one of us could display the chat, so we can see the questions, um, and then we can write them down. Uh, I, I can post my screen. Yeah, that's cool. Leonard, which, how many do you know? Uh, I know two, n number two, okay, and number three, cool. and number four. Cool. And Chippy um, and Kevin, do you do you know Kevin's? Do you know some of them? I just and, know number one. I didn't really read them all. Okay, and Susan, I'm going through. Yeah. Okay. I think I know number two, number seven. Hmm. Um, I might know eight, but I'm not sure. You know, keep oh, going. oh God, I just lost and everybody. Susan, and Susan, Can you see oh, the no, screen now? Here. No, no, see the screen. She he's sharing the question. I'm sharing my oh, screen. Oh, I had why. that on my oh chat. Okay, 
Now, <clears throat> now I'm uh, Chippy and Kevin, new Kevin. Why don't you share what you know? He's not that new. <laughs> uh, new Kevin is a little bit lost on this category. This is not my strong suit. Um, okay, let's talk him through. What yeah. About, what about Chippy? Uh, Going to learn a lot today. Uh, number two, the, uh, I have the show for is what the uh, instrument is. Where does it yeah, say? Yeah, the the uh, the instrument the horn, the, show the far, ritual horn. The, Instrument to show for New Year's is Rosh Hashanah. The Day of Atonement is Yom Kippur, and the question's wrong. It's not the seven days because, as he point as it points out, it lasts for ten days, which is a different number than seven. But anyway, I, I love the tradition of um, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. What a wonderful thing to really think about. What wrongs have we done? Asking forgiveness, whether people receive it or not, and starting with a clean slate. I love that notion. Do you think I th ever think about that? <laughs> yeah, but the clean slate isn't with God. The clean slate is with people. Exactly. Which Always. is a wonderful yeah. thing. April yeah. Fool's, huh? Is that, what, is that what number one is? I think it is. I don't know. I thought it was leap year. <laughs> no. It'd have to be no. something that it was... Can't, it can't be leap year. Yeah, the sleep years were in the Julian calendar. You know, April that's, Fools that's makes a lot of sense. Years ago. Okay. Yeah, April Fools is I not think it's bad. April Fools. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think we had it in April, Fools April Fools category Fools, once, right? They'd call it okay. now, number, Fools. Now, number three, I know it's about ten days. Wait, yeah, number two was Shofar and New Year. No, we, we've got there, there's 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 Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah and Shofar. Those are the three possible oh, I see. answers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Number I got. We got one written down, so that's all we yeah. need. Okay. Right. Okay. Number three is about ten days. It is three hundred and fifty-five. Okay. Which is ten days less than three hundred and sixty-five. Oh, so it's exactly ten days. There you go. Yeah. Okay. okay. And number four, I believe, is Samoa, but specifically. Oh not, no! Not, it's Kiribati. It's Kiribati. Not America, Samoa. It's Kiribati. Okay. How do you spell that? K I R I B A T. Kiribati, the 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 island of Fiji, they worked out a real estate deal with Kiribati, and they leased land to them for them to move on to um, Fiji. Cool. When Kiribati gets flooded by climate change. I do not know the answer to number five. Five. Beers are not No food is eaten a deep clean. What, that I language. thought it was the Coptic church. Well, well, that's not number five. Oh, five. Usuji. I'm so, guessing Korea. Asian? Somewhere near. I'm guessing somewhere in South Asian. Korea. My guess would be South Korea, but I don't know. So Usuji is the word. So there's a, it's, in Asia, right? Right. South Kites. Korea is a possibility. That's Kites. my guess, yeah. Kites are flown. And New Year's is a very big holiday in Asia, some Asian countries. So. And it's not China. No, I don't South think Korea it's China because really China is the next question. You don't think okay. it's Vietnam or anything like that? It could be. Okay. Don't no know. Idea. So what if we put... Uh, Korea or South Korea? Would you say South Korea? And South that's Korea. what I guess. We can come back to it later if we don't have high agreement on it, because none of us know. Yeah, just put something down. Pencil well, we know it's in. not North Korea. Okay. Right now, all I know is I'm 1963, and I'm a rabbit, and it's every 12 years. It's so... the dragon. Okay. We got the dragon mm -hmm. coming up. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Someone's yeah. blowing a shofar. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> somebody calling me. This is Diwali. 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 Yeah. Diwali. That's the only hint. Do I get it spelled right? D I it D I E W A L I. I think that is the only Hindu holiday I know. So I'm. Glad. I've never heard of this. Diwali. My my next door neighbors celebrate so. Um, this is Coptic Christians, right? No idea. I have Coptic here. Okay. Yeah, that's now my what guess. What does Coptic mean? Uh, it's a it's a sect of Christianity. I'm not not, not sure. Coptic what, with a C or a K. C O P T. 
I see. Okay. Okay, now number nine is one I half know. Well, you guys are all smart. I wouldn't have known a zillion, any of these. I Let's... have no idea what number nine is. Number <laughs> nine. Number nine has black eyed peas. Black eyed peas and something else. Black eyed peas. It's not collard red. greens. I would guess rice. Because beans and rice are traditional, but all I know is it does have black eyed peas in it. Well, I was going to say, it's got to have, my mom always celebrated New Year's Day with black eyed peas. Yeah. And she's from the South. Yeah. <laughs> black eyed peas, but what else? I would guess. I, I like rice. your um your guess of, uh, of rice. Yeah. Because beans and rice are traditional in many cultures. So what's it called though? Hop and John. Black eyed peas. What is the dish? And Describe rice. it. The, the dish John, is black eyed peas and black rice. Black eyed peas and rice. Is it red rice or, or white? Black eyed peas and rice. I'm sure okay. it would be fine. Yeah. I, I was gonna, there's yeah. spices. There are probably spices, but I don't know if we need to be that specific. Oh. And of course, peas are not peas. They're beans, but whatever. Yeah, we always had. I think it's all of the above. You think? Uh, it's almost always all of the above. Yeah, really? I, I don't like the way she wrote this question because it's like it's like a conundrum if you read it. What do you yeah. mean? What do you Which mean? Which is not. But Which yeah. is not. Well, it can't be not all of the above because that's a double negative kind of a thing. I was thinking the same it thing, It just doesn't Kevin. sound right. You know what I mean? If you read it, Kevin. Which Kevin one is not? Kevin well, okay. not all of the above. <laughs> I agree, but you know, we know what she meant. Yeah, right? yeah, it, I know. It, it's I think it's all of the meant. above. I thought this was the They're one all, Rob was going to have a problem It says with. <laughs> all of the above are real American traditions, but which one is not what your great-grandmother may have enjoyed? So my great-grandmother was a, a slave on the mission, so my answer would be none of them. <laughs> yeah, and my, my great-grandmother lived in poland so <laughs> you have more than one great grandmother uh, mine too they all of them lived in poland oh, okay and yeah that's my true. <laughs> true. that's correct my poland, other great, Romania, my right? other great grandmother was a uh, uh, second generation san franciscan so okay that is a fair yeah question. and i mine were mine in that were in america they didn't have no cash <laughs> my great like grandparents my great grandparents gave birth to my grandmother's sister in Poland. Then they split up and were separated for 11 years. She came to America with the sister. And then the father found out she was here, followed over, got back together with her, and had my grandmother. Wow. But if they didn't do that reconciliation in America, I wouldn't be here. Oh my God. I think the answer is A. G? A. A? So okay. the, all the other ones okay. are, re so, are real, well, except that one. So Carol has said a, it said a, and and Susan said G. How shall we decide? Shall we vote? Arm wrestle. <laughs> shall we vote? It shall says we vote? number G says all of the above are real American traditions. So it says which of the following is not a real American tradition or superstition that your great grandmother may have enjoyed. So if you wanna say all the above, it means you think that your great grandmother would have enjoyed all of them. That's correct. And one person is saying that that is their opinion and you're saying that only A. So I'm asking, how shall we decide? I don't think it has anything to do with your great grandma. She just put that in there to be fun. Yeah, to give it- oh, yeah, She's just talking about time, to give it time, time context. context. We know what she means, time context. So how shall we decide, folks? Would you like to vote? We do have five people. So if we voted, we might come. I'm not that attached to my answer, by the way. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does decorate a New Year's tree. So I, Kevin, I wouldn't be shocked. Okay. Kevin, All you're right. quiet and we're just guessing on this. There's two magic. Kevins. I don't Kevin, I don't know. Not magic, but Kevin, do you have yeah. something to say? Oh, wait a minute. You can't get grapes in the wintertime. <laughs> If it was your great grandmother, uh, you can't, you how are you going to get grapes? You can't, depending where your ancestors are from. 
Well, but this is supposed to be an Maine. American tradition. <laughs> <laughs> real American. Real this is, American. This is a Maine. real American not tradition. Came on the not, Mayflower. Not Italian Americans, not African Americans. Oh New my England. God. It has to be New England. Not South America. Gail, Gail, I don't think Gail expected that the one that would have the most controversy would be question 10. Kevin, right. do you have an opinion on this, Kevin Dolan? I, I decide. No, only in that I've I've heard of like two of these, but that doesn't preclude any of the others from from not. Which ones have you heard of? Uh, the starting the year with cash in your pocket. I, I yeah, heard I've heard of that. of that. Yeah, and then um, I'd actually heard of. I think I've heard, and now I'm probably implanting it in my head somehow. But the the cleaning and good luck. I, I thought I'd heard of that one before, but. Um, but again, that doesn't, you know, <laughs> I thought I'd heard of the windows. I like the logic that E can't be right. That is but clever. You... I mean, yeah. They didn't can grapes. Grapes are good frozen if you roll them in sugar first. Ooh. But I'm not sure they had freezers either. Well, two generations, maybe three. I don't know. It's just a guess. They had ice boxes. True. Or they just kept them outside because it was so cold. No, I don't it's know. Kind of you know what? It you know she you're making a really good. Yeah, like, I, I like the logic for E because yeah, even even, I like wrong. that too. I like I that. Bet, okay, it doesn't say that everywhere these would have been true, but somebody has grapes at this time of the year, and somebody has a has. Yeah, a but they're not cut. real Americans. <laughs> which somebody is the following, <laughs> They're only which real the following is not a real American New Year tradition or superstition period that yeah. could someone, could someone in, in say Florida, Texas, Hawaii Southern California have None great of those are real them? Americans <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a lot of people in Florida is American. meant to go with the tradition and not the American again an unfortunate um uh, choice of uh gail you've started a, a ruckus over here oh my gosh they're gonna come to blows we know I, she I meant a that... real tradition not a real american so well you you said you wanted them to be harder susan I'm well trying. i want them to be harder but boy they you can woo. so shall we go with e is there I anyone, vote for e. is there anyone I, i'll opposed? vote for e is there knowing Gail, i'm e. sure she has a good reason for putting it but and, and if we're gonna go. do we if we're gonna Kevin? do like I've been That's convinced. Weighted voting, or whatever they call it. Okay. I would how, go about, e how about e. this? To make sure that not just whoever's talking loudest prevails, is there anyone who is opposed to E? We would like to hear you. Okay. Susan is opposed to E. Tell us your thinking, please. Okay. I think that these are traditions, and somebody could be eating grapes somewhere in the, in the United States, and that is a thing because I'm in California, so we can get grapes. So I could see that being a New Year's tradition. And I think, because it's just a generic, lots of things. I think she was researching this category and she came up with all these New Year's traditions and she just stuck them into this question and question 10 and then said, oh, these are all traditions somewhere. And, and it doesn't say all traditions that everyone celebrates. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. It doesn't. Is, so am I talking anyone, chippy out of question? Is anyone eight? persuaded to change their mind? No. I am not. Well, I must be failing. I am. Okay, chippy changes. I'm not attached to it. I, it could be okay. all of them. Kevin's, just, what about the I, Kevin? I would have to, like, weighted vote. I would vote for E and then G. Okay, Kevin Dolan. Um. I mean, I feel like G or E, but I, I probably would have put G as my number one and E as my, my secondary. Okay, so um, we essentially have a tie unless Magic um, changes his vote, right? So what? You, so you're leaving it up to me? Yeah. Uh, let's go with G. Okay. All right. Will someone kindly say the name, The even though it's written down, will someone... Uh, utter the the answers quickly well, i got them all written down already can you yeah, utter them can you actually just say them quickly yep um april fools yom kippur 355 kiribati south korea uh dragon diwali coptic black eyed peas and rice and all of the above g 
thank you. Optic that Christian. That helps me with my writing. Thank you. Okay, we'll see. Yay, team. All right, guys. See you over there. I learned a lot. Here we go. <laughs> I think we I did some well. of what we learned might be true. It might be. <laughs>So anybody want to buy a C melody sax? <laughs> what? I have no idea what I would do that with that. What's a C melody a sax? Saxophone. So, C melody saxophone. Uh, it's a sax a saxophone it. pitched in C. We have we have three musicians on my team, and I really hope there's a music category tonight. <laughs> this would be the and it's gonna be on country. Well then then you can take over, bro. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, to be clear, instrumental music. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he does know a lot of that. Okay. So, are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Now I can see that, and that's being recorded. Boy, New Year's is almost here. I can't believe it. Okay, here come the answers. Question one. I think everybody got that one. April. That's Pool. excellent. Yay. Yeah. Yay. All right. Good, good guess. But it wasn't called April Fool's Day, right? Well, the, it, they, they're not, this is an apocryphal tale that just makes sense, right? That's why it was slow to get the news because they, because they couldn't do it. And April Fools were what they, they called them fools and that became April Fools and then we kept it. Oh, interesting. So, Symbolize the young. This is popular. from the place where I got this. These pranks included having paper fish placed on their back and being referred to as Poisson Raw April Fish. Never heard of Poisson Avril. That's wonderful. Yeah, I've never heard of this. That's interesting. Yeah. I, well, I heard. Uh, well, I had heard of that, but uh, which is why <laughs> I get managed to get that. Okay. Question two. Do any of the three answers, and I think everybody got this one with one. Oh, the three so Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are the same thing. Okay. No. Or no. The the Yom Kippur is the Day of Atonement. And they're so far as the horn. Is Yum Kipper a tasty version of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely it's, not tasty. It's, a, it's a misspelled tasty version of it. Okay, yeah. Yum. Oh, I it's, it's, for those that actually don't, it's for those that don't fast on Yom Kippur. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Jim, Very good. Jim, Yom, Yom Kippur is the culmination. That's the end of the <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The, 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 the breakfast. The answer is oh. 354. So oh, you have wow. anything yeah. between 349 and 360. It looks like Jenny's phone number. 8675309. I thought it was interesting oh, that the result is because it keeps going around and they don't adjust it because it's the religious calendar. Um I think I've mentioned before that my sister is an Egyptologist and they go every fall to Egypt. And when it con conflicts with Ramadan, that's always an issue because they have to make arrangements for the Muslim people that are there. But it doesn't happen very often because the holidays and the, the calendar just keep going, even though they don't correspond to the season or our calendar. Yeah, yeah it's Ramadan is all over solar calendar. Sorry? It's a lunar calendar, not a solar yeah. calendar. But usually when they have a lunar, ca lunar calendar, they make adjustments to, to allow for it, right? Yeah. Like the yeah. Jewish they calendar have, they, as a month. That, that's true in the Jewish calendar. It's not true in most lunar calendars. Oh, I didn't know about most. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. But oh, um, apparently this yeah. one, they do not do that. Yeah. Yep. Like, the, like the Jewish one has a, uh, has a leap month every few years. Right. Yeah. I never too. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, the, this was a hard question. I didn't know if anybody would get it, but I saw at least one team did. Um, yep. They're called the Line Islands, which is the whole group, and it's Kiribati. It's Kiribati is how they pronounce it. I went there on a cruise ship once, and it's disappearing. I mean, the islands are going to be flooded over, and they will not be there anymore. And that's a map to show you pretty much where it is. But that is the the first place in the world. Okay. Here about is that Jamie went the local there? version of Christmas. <laughs> Jamie was there. Well done, okay. Leonard. Okay. And I... and Chippy. Say, hey, Gil, has Jamie been there? <laughs> I don't know. He hasn't mentioned it, but you I'll, better I'll hurry up. Away. Away. <laughs> Question three. 
Question five is Japan. Uh. And I know I know a lot of people oh. recognize it because I did give you the the kite flying was one hint, important hint, but the other one was that obviously Japanese sounding words that many of you caught on to. Obviously, obviously, <laughs> well, it's, it was obviously Asian, not obviously Japanese. Yeah, we didn't we didn't do so well now. Uh, there was at least one team that thought it was Norwegian or something. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oops. Norwegian. Okay. Uh, one of the Scandinavian countries I I heard them talking about. Okay, question six. It's the year of the dragon coming up. Yay! It's the Yay. year of the dragon, and then. But everyone knows it's the year of the rabbit, and the dragon follows the rabbit. Oh, it's now rabbit. Oh, the rabbit. Oh, I didn't realize that. One team guessed rabbit, so they were they were just a little behind. So does the dragon eat the rabbit? <laughs> no, again, I don't think so. And seven again. I was really impressed. Most of you knew it. Yeah, I'm, you people always awe me. It's Diwali. Yeah. Oh, I spelled it wrong. But that doesn't shock me. I've never heard of it before. Is this the one where they put colors on powdered? On yeah. Them? Yes. It's oh, they throw, there's another yeah, holiday where they throw color, colored things. That I want to celebrate that. That sounds amazing. This is about light. Colors and lights of happiness. That's lovely. Well, I think you're thinking of when they throw the paint. Uh, is holy. Yeah, the powdered That's stuff. Holy. Holy. That's holy. That's, that's holy. Yeah. Ah, okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, number eight is the Orthodox Church. Oh, is that uh, different than what we said? We is said that different is. than the Coptic yeah. Church? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Is, uh, Eastern uh, Orthodox. Uh, Orthodox considers Coptic as part of them. How about Eastern Orthodox? Eastern Orthodox. Coptics are Orthodox. Eastern yeah. Orthodox would be correct. Yeah. What did you say, Caspian? Coptics are Orthodox. Okay. They're so one of the Orthodox. So co they, Coptic. But are they are they, they Coptic in Ukraine and and Belarus and those other places? No, Coptics are no. specifically Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I think yeah, they're in the Orthodox. Question, you did world. state Egyptian, so I think that that would be included. In I that. I listed the 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 countries that have it, and I purposely. Yeah, but the but the. Egyptians don't call themselves Orthodox. They call themselves Coptic. And the Russian it's, Orthodox. It's kind of like Orthodox specifying don't... Protestants. Right. But not getting any more specific than Protestant. All right. So if you put Coptic, it's okay. It's up to Gail. Well, Gail, I would suggest you. Google yes, would... says it's called the Coptic Orthodox Church. So it's a form of Orthodox. So it's a Okay, I'll give you Coptic. Yeah. Question nine. I'm sure uh, so the teams that know the South knew about this. Uh, oh, I almost have that one. In there. Okay. Sorry, uh, Sorry teams. So does just black oh, eyed right. peas count? Yeah. yeah, black eyed peas is the point. Oh, yeah, black eyed peas black -eyed and peas rice. Black eyed peas and I will argue and Look that at that. Peas you can count. see the rice in there. Okay. Black eyed peas was the key thing. Is that it, Gail? You say? Yes, black eyed peas is the big thing. Okay, well, yeah. thank you. Okay, and then number 10, I I watched some of the teams arguing about it. <laughs> they were arguing between two wrong answers. So feel better about it. There are the answer is F. There is one day that that um is not about religion, not at all. And if you I'm going to read this. I'll send this to anyone who wants it if you want to read it. But um, it, it what it, this is what these are pictures from that website, and I picked the three that I thought would be the ones that you would most be fooled by. And I gather grapes was a big problem for some of you. Grapes was definitely correct, and that's the New Year's tree. Apparently, way back to the 1600s, uh, they would take the Christmas tree and redecorate it for New Year's. And the, the, even though it's cold, people would open the windows. But the important thing about the, the one that was the answer, which was F, that it has religious significance. Um, it ha some Christian churches, particularly in African American communities, host night watch services of tradition tied to emancipation proclamation. Catholics, January 1st, or the solemnity of Mary is a holy day of obligation meaning they have to attend mass on New Year's Day. 
But knowing the revelers will be out late the night before, many churches offer a vigil mass option on New Year's Eve as well. So it is definitely also a religious holiday. In this country, we can't escape that. Wow. So what about the 4th of July? That's not a religious holiday. I wasn't asking about the 4th of July. I was asking no, but you said this is the, the holiday that is not religious. No, it is religious. So that this is one day, not that this is the one day. Right. It's not the only day. It is a day where there's no, there's nothing. And that's not true. This is a religious day. Hey, got it. Thank you, Gail. That's it. All right. Stop sharing, so I guess please. we need to get to the scores. Lots Stop sharing. My job. Gail's not listening. Gail, you're still Gail, sharing. Gail, stop sharing. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's go with our scores. Team two took our name, so mom always liked team two best. Nine. Oh. Wow. Zoom, emoji, unicorn madness. Four. <gasps> wow, oh. what a difference. That's a spread. Uh, autocorrect can kiss my ass. I think we got seven. Is, was anybody else writing it down? I think we had six. You guys want to duel on it? <laughs> I missed the first couple, so I can't say. Well, then give them five. We got, <laughs> how about two? No, we, we got six. We had six. Okay. Which was the other one that we missed, Deborah? Uh, so we missed the <laughs> island. We missed um, the number of days in the year. We missed the frog legs. <laughs> we missed number ten. Wow! We didn't go with the, really we didn't go with the black too. eyed peas. <laughs> Miss you, Tommy. Mom always liked you best. We got eight. Oh, wow! Okay, well, we got beaten by the we got we got beaten by the one who's. Uh, uh, who 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 didn't like me? Yeah, his mom like didn't best. like us as much. <laughs> All right, during the during, between solstice and New Year's, if it's trivia, it must be Thursday. We got eight. So your average is seven. Interesting. Well, well done, Gail. Yeah, a lot of stuff in there I had no clue of. I learned a lot. A lot. Okay, so many things, many things. Cat has. Looks like Kat's going to do a category on black and white photographs, which will be fun because I love I love photography and photography <laughs> Oh, Susan, I'm going to make you so sad. Aww. <laughs> what is it you've got for us this time? I am going for the record for the most consecutive time somebody can fill in. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fourth week in a row presenting, so people are getting sick of me, I know. No, no, nobody's sick of Wait, wait, wait. You Let are me delightful. see what your category is. Yeah, Move well, that's tied that after I see your category. It, it's tied in because everybody is out to kill me now. So we're going with serial killer pseudonyms. <laughs> oh. I could do that, maybe. So I got to get my wife in here. She loves this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 10 names. Oh. And then that those are the questions. You have to, I'll give you 20 pseudonyms and you have to match the 10 names figure out what their actual pseudonym is oh yeah oh okay because i thought just giving you the names would be too hard yeah so yeah it would be to match them is so much easier now, right? they, so this did is, you make up a bunch of funny names too mm -hmm. so i did is, not these are actually all legitimate pseudonyms uh, so wow. this would be so this would be who killed captain crunch and tony the tiger and Serial killers. Serial killers. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Obviously, you don't know how sick and twisted I am. Um, and, and just to let you know that I am being nice to you, um, because I know some people, something, <laughs> some of you think I really hate you, and I don't. I love you. You're my people. My sister, like, she thought I was going to give you the names and you had to give me their kill count. And I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> Plus or minus you zero. You know me too well yeah. to know that I would know this random stuff. Right? Oh. <laughs> that I have been down serial killer Wikipedia too many times. Oh. oh That's what Wikipedia and, and exists for. Porn and 
and serial killers. And serial killers and true crime, crime right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, read so, it in morbid reality. I do. <laughs> I, I'll hear about a new true crime something and I say, oh, I'm not watching that video, but I will read the page in Wikipedia so I know what they're talking about. Okay, let's try it. And I will, it, I do have a whole key at the end after I give you the answer. So if anyone's like, no, -uh, I'm like, well, here's the actual person's name. So okay, that's why I say I didn't make any of this up. So here are your 10 names. And you know these people. I did not pick hard ones. Ooh. I had some harder ones in there. And and I'm like, no, no, no. That's no, we're me. in trouble. I've only seen you have picked names. some hard ones. You have. Not once you see the I've only one. read three of these names ever. <gasps> yeah, me oh too. My God, and you are not like I've heard of one. You are so <laughs> not gonna do well. Oh my God. I've I've heard of three of them also. Probably the same ones. Oh my God. Here are your pseudonyms. Do you have any questions before I shoot you off to your rooms? No. Why? Why? Yes. Hey, I gave it's you a new year. Weeks of it's a new year. Send That's it to our rooms, Kat, please. Thank you. All right. Yeah, yeah, have a good fun him. time. I love you all, really. Please don't kill me. <laughs> don't kill her. Get it? Hey. That would be. Okay. Hello, Dean number Wait, somebody needs to do a screen okay okay this is good what are right. you got to have a screen thing number two is k the night stalker that's wait wait head. wait who's doing I, the screen share i can do it give me a second uh, to set it up. Move this I, I think you guys Harry are gonna have Ridgeway. a lot of fun so fun yeah dennis radar and gary ridgewood oh i get those two confused Gary Ridgway is the Green River Killer. I think so, yeah. Dennis Matar is BTK. Bind, torture, kill. Oh, that's that, the worst. And he got caught because he sent in a MS Word little five and a half inch floppy and it had his little credentials on it. And that's how he got caught by the I thought he photocopied something in the yeah. library. And the photocopy machine actually actually you can get rid of the... him because nobody knows who Zodiac is. Yep, exactly. Um uh let's see. Richard Ramirez is the night stalker, I think, right? Yeah, yes, Richard sure Ramirez is. is the night stalker. David Berkowitz was son of Sam. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, Gacy is um Gacy's the killer clown. And uh, yeah. Paul, Ber yeah. I'm pretty sure that Paul Bernardo was is one of the Ken and Barbie is is the Ken. Oh, yes, 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 that's yes. right. Because um, she got out, didn't name, she? Her last name is H, and she got she got off with a really light sentence, and then they found the videotape of yeah, her. That's right. We talked about this once. Yeah. I don't know why, yeah. but we did. Um, Ed, Ed Gein, Gein is Ed Gein. I think Ed Gein is the happy face killer, but let yeah, me. He was the one that. that like a lot of these serial killers, like the movies were based on. Ooh, but, yeah, I think. Yeah, he, yeah. That's an old timey one. I think he was like from Wisconsin. Ooh, yeah. Ted Bundy. I. Ted Bundy. What was he called? I thought he was just like Ted Bundy. He had his own. Ted Bundy, I want to say, was the co-ed butcher because he, um, he was the one that, um went and raped all the girls in the co-ed don't like the co-ed housing situation and that was like the last the the last one that he had oh i don't know who joseph d'angelo is never heard of that one ed gein should be i want to know that one yeah gee oh shoot could he be the campus kill oh yeah or the co-ed killer hmm Mm -hmm. I think he was co-ed. That sounds right. I've never heard of the campus killer, actually. Because they lived so off campus. The, they uh, lived off campus in like a, a little housing apartment. I've um, heard of this Alcalda. Alcalda. Oh, I'm really? Waiting, yeah, but I'm waiting to see who, who you guys haven't got yet. Golden State, the Golden State Killer should be... Um, Oh shoot! Now I'm getting the one that. Uh, no, Ridgeway was Green Oswald River Killer. Wife. Golden State Killer was the. Um, yeah. Oh, he was just caught. He was just caught. He was a police officer. The Golden. Are you saying Ted Bundy was the co-ed butcher? 
I think I've never heard him called that. Killer would be better. But I don't think I don't think Ted Bundy went on a college campus. I think it no, was no, that doesn't make sense at all. BTK. BTK. Is they, no, I think he might have been the dating game killer. Mm. One of them was oh, on that the dating sound... game. Oh, oh, oh! One of them was on the dating game. One of them was on dating game, and I can't remember. But I, that's I... what he was known as after they found him, not. I thought a lot of these people got the name whenever they didn't know their name. Could, could D'Angelo be the phantom sniper? Could well, no, because that would have been the DC sniper, DC Beltway sniper. Isn't Ed King the happy face killer? Ed Gein, I think, is happy face killer. Butterbox baby killer. Okay. Um, okay. Rodney Alcala doesn't ring a bell with me. Does anybody know who he was? It I'm just waiting to see what the last um what What's are left about? over because it might ring a bell to me because I've heard that last name. It's like Boston Strangler is a pretty well known, but I don't but I don't know what the, the real name of whoever it was. Right. Well, I think S and T are fake. S and T? Yeah. Torture Doctor and Blackout Ripper. Those sound made up. Yeah, they yeah. do. Oh. Okay. Or I thought she said they were all, oh, the people's names are all real. Butterbox Baby Killer? I've never heard of that. I don't think that one. Bundy wasn't the dating game killer. No, who was that? That was Rodney Alcala. Maybe oh. that, was, that I think was Rodney Alcala. Because who's okay. the other one we don't have? Well, there was debate for Ted Bundy as to whether he's the co-ed butcher or the campus killer. Because I always heard yeah. the term co-ed killer, which is not what we have here. I don't know. I don't think Bundy was... Bundy was the... Go with the co-ed butcher because I think that it's probably we're getting it's probably mentally we're getting co-ed and campus killer confused. Yeah. And they did not live on campus. The co-ed? So life. which one you want to do for Ted Bundy? Co-ed butcher. Co killer. Or butcher, yes. Yeah. So if you grab them on campus. Huh? No, no, no. What happened is he he like the last the last couple women he murdered was that he went into an off-campus apartment and raped like three of them and killed So D'Angelo is, do we know which one's an D'Angelo? No, that's the last one we're missing. Okay, D'Angelo and D Dennis Rader. Well, hold on, hold on. Could Joseph D, oh. was Joseph D'Angelo the, no, because that, that would be Matt, was the one in uh, Moscow, Idaho? No, that's not happened yet. They haven't. No, they haven't, that one did happen. No, I. They haven't. Uh, Moscow, Idaho. He's still on trial. Right, he's still on trial, but they could have given him a name. Would he have been called the co? Is that the guy, D'Angelo? Oh, you're saying the co-ed butcher? Yeah, because he, because, because it was. His name is not on this list anymore. Okay. I think His name is Anthony or something like that. It's um. Which one? Okay. So the so the guy who's the murderer in moscow idaho at the at the uh college campus his name mm. is not on this list got it so the one we're trying to figure out is joseph d'angelo right pretty much yeah. yeah okay so let's see what's left over now so we have boston strangler um kindly killer i've never heard of me either butcher of plainfield i've never heard of plainfield. it's vaguely familiar uh Phantom Sniper, I've never heard of. Could Ann yeah. Gein be Butcher of Plainfield? Yeah, I think Golden I State know. Killer is is a, is somebody we've heard of. Is the clown killer? I no, mean, Happy no, Face Killer is not. But I got confused. Lethal Lovers, Could half Joseph of Lethal Angela Lovers, half of Campus killer? Uh, Campus Killer, Butterbox Baby Killers. Is that all you have there? A D F O Q R and G. And then we've eliminated oh. these three because, yeah. first of all, Zodiac was unsolved, and these right. two seem fake. And what was the one underneath that? She said only Zodiac. Three. No, I thought there was one other underneath there. No, okay. No, nope, that's all of it. Um, the, the torture doctor, I think, is. I think I know who that one is, but I thought that was fake. 
No, they're, she said all of them we're, we're not going to talk about that case because I've actually made the mistake of listening to the video, to the, the audio recording that they played into court for that one, and it is really fucked up. Oh, wow. So Let's the Boston oh, no, no, that's Strangler. That's box killer. Sorry. Okay. Thank you the Boston Strangler and the Golden State Killer are, really are real good. are real ones. So yeah, is the, toy, the Boston the box killer. Yeah. But she said all of them are real, right? There's yes, no Susan. All of them are real. Right. Okay. Oh. So all of them are real. So well, then we can is, um, which one is D'Angelo? Could he be the Phantom Sniper? I've never heard of that term. Because I want to say he might be the one of the one of the two from the DC Beltway. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. I'm yeah. gonna go out on a limb. It was Muhammad, and oh. maybe this is Zach putting, or sorry, maybe this is Cat putting forward her theory that Joseph D'Angelo was the Zodiac killer. Yeah, Cat would. No. Nobody knows who Zodiac is. Okay. Okay. No, the Beltway, the 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 two guys who were doing the Beltway killing, that's not D'Angelo. Could well, no, the, the I think Golden D'Angelo State killer. Was the, uh, Golden State killer. I don't think his last name was D'Angelo. He was a very white. Individual. No, you know what? It could be. D'Angelo can be one. No, D'Angelo could like, be the. Um, he was. He had generic white sounding name. Well, Golden State Killer is a generic white guy. <laughs> yeah, he was a generic white officer. That like he there was nothing D'Angelo about him. But we no, that could have been D'Angelo is a very white Golden name. State. Let's go. Well. You know, you can't get much more white than D'Angelo. Yeah, I think we should do Butcher of Plainfield for Ed Gein. I don't think he was the happy. Yeah, that seems fitting for me. Yeah. And I want to say Ted Bundy was the co ed butcher. Okay, so seven is yeah, because B, not E. Yeah. I've never heard of Butcher of Plainfield. No, because he, because he did that. He was going on to college campus. Yeah. But that's one of his. I don't know, Plainfield is in Wisconsin. They didn't connect Plainfield where? Is that Ohio? Wisconsin. They got, I think they got Plainfield in just about every one of the Midwest states. Yeah. And Ed Gein was one of the Midwest people. Yeah. So, no, he was into taking people's skin off their body and making masks and lamps and stuff out of them. So, uh, yeah. So, so do we know D'Angelo now? Well, we have a guess. Let's go with Golden State Killer. That's what right. I think is likely. He's somebody's grandpa that was just gross and disgusting, and it's just awful. They're all gross. Yeah, but Paul, awful. Paul is one of the Ken and Barbies, and what's her face got off really like. So, so why know. are we so fascinated by? And I mean, we is in the colloquial. There's tons <laughs> of channels and stuff devoted to serial killers and true I think crime. It's, I th well, because remember we got in this discussion at your house, Susan, mm. where we were talking about how like some of us got into skepticism because of serial <laughs> which was a really, really weird way to segue into it. I think it's it's trying to understand why they do it, why people will do these things. Like yeah. who was who was the one that they got to do all the false confessions? You guys, doing okay for time? Yeah, we're done. No, there was, there was the one serial Jeez. killer. I don't think it was, it wasn't Berkowitz. It was the other one where they got him to um, fabricate like confessions to all these unsolved murders. Well, also it's a mystery. And when these things start happening, it it's in the news and mm -hmm. everybody's like trying to put the clues together. Of course, and just so understanding why somebody would do something like that. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't include on the list the uh, Salinas Smaller, although I guess that one hasn't been caught yet and is still wandering around Salinas mauling people. So Salinas, where is Salinas? I'm ne Kansas? Never heard of this. Salinas. Yeah. Salinas, Salinas. yeah, but we don't mm -hmm. have a we have a Salinas. No, I made that up. I'm just trying to. Oh, he's messing with me. I'm saying Salinas, Salina, Kansas. Yeah. Do I not? Do I not pronounce that right? Salinas. No. Salinas. But there is a Selena, Selina, Selina, Kansas. Oh, God, how do you say it? Kansas. Selina's is, oh, they're always confusing it with us whenever you Oh, it was Henry Lee back. Lucas. It was Henry Lee Lucas that they got to confess to all these murders that did not take place. Ooh. And they were able to 
like they were able to prove he wasn't in the vicinity, like he wasn't even in the state where some of these took place. And he was just stating that he did all this stuff and he would fabricate like what he did. And he was trying to have like the highest body count. I wonder why they didn't have uh, Jason Voorhees from uh -huh. that documentary Jason series. Jason Voorhees is, is how you say. Camp Crystal Lake is not a real place. Yeah, they have like Henry Lee Lucas has three confirmed victims, but he claims 250. So the only contribution I made was for number one. <laughs> well, I didn't do any helping at all. Go the um I think it was not be Gary Ridgeway. That one was fascinating reading about his wife, is that she when she married him, she I realized will probably that she not be coming back him. for the next round. It's getting oh. late for tomorrow. Oh as, as usual. Okay. Well, it's fun. To Barbie's be, next on the Gail. list. I keep forgetting about that. To be continued, Gail. There is so much confusion on that one. <laughs> it was so fun listening to everyone get so passionate about the okay. serial killers. I know. It, it's just one of those topics that we are just... Wow. I'm surprised at the people who would say, oh yeah, well here's what happened on that one. They're not people I necessarily would have thought that they kyle was like into it like kyle really you know a lot of <laughs> well i did guys. try and make them very well known they so were that well hopefully known. it was a little easier there was something out there i'd the, never heard of those well those known in canada maybe i've never heard of <laughs> and cat knows all these people personally <laughs> that would be amazing. She'd be pretty old. I don't want to be Kat's friend if she knows the Ken and Barbie killers. <laughs> They're Canadian, so they all know each other. They're in Canadian. No, but no, I Barbie think Barbie got right. off easy. On They're her. all no, yeah. our neighbors. Wrong and they, they, they'd all just had dinner with uh, Jamie before they murdered. <laughs> and they, they, they can't all be Canadian because there'd be A in the in every one of the names. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Canadians know each Sorry. other. Only. And they like, want some answers? Story. Yes, oh, we do. Okay. I, I'm not so okay. sure we do. <laughs> well, because we're talking about the Canadians, let's start out with Paul Bernardo. He is half of oh. the Ken and Barbie killers. H. I did put them in the chat mm. as well. It's H Ken and Barbie Killer. Right. Number one. Talking about wild ass guests is really wild. And there's but there's nothing else to do in Scarborough. <laughs> yeah. 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 Scarborough. Uh, true. He was the Scarborough rapist before he turned into a killer. Um fun fun times. Richard Ramirez was K, the Night Stalker. Ooh. Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. Our house had a, 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 a we're in, in, on the uh, one story house in, um, well, it was North Hollywood. It's, and, um, and it had glass windows, just old fashioned house, very old house. And one of the windows was cracked. My daughter was so scared of this guy. Mm -hmm. She went to the hardware store. She was in junior high school. She went to the hardware store and they taught her how to change the pane of glass herself. Good for her. She but was, you still can break a pane of glass with a hammer or a rock. <laughs> really? On your fist. But, but it would wake you up. It made her feel better. Right? I thought I, I, thought, I would have replaced it with sheet metal. Yeah. I thought the Night Stalker was Carl Kolchak. No. Yes, you're right. <laughs> That's Carl with a K. What's... I don't get it. That was the TV, show. TV, TV show. show. It's Daka. It's a show. Show. Yeah. Oh, show. Great show. I'm pretty sure every single one of you would have gotten John Wayne Gacy is the killer clown. He was also known in the media as Patches the Clown or Pogo the Clown because those were the names that he actually used when he was doing his clowning. Which, ooh, clowns are creepy. That one is, anyway. That one is. No, they all are. <laughs> no, no, no. I was a clown once upon a time, so don't... Were you? Yep. Not with that mustache. Right? <laughs> uh, no. That'd be uh, creepy. White, white face and a uh, teardrop. And the oh. mustache. 
like you murdered somebody yeah a teardrop to me <laughs> signifies murder so no creepy so lots you of talk somebody about... you buried them in your crawl space yeah that don't is... don't have any pictures of you bill in that that uh, that would no Just that would be a good pictures you have of you like that good picture to show right now wow. <laughs> i don't have it i guess we had a lot know. of discussion about rodney alcala lots of you knew the name and as you should, he was on TV. He was the dating game killer. That's oh. the dating game killer. Okay, yeah. Rodney Akello was a dating yeah. game killer. He appeared on the dating game, um, which was oh. a popular show in the seventies. I'm guessing. Yeah, but he um, didn't. But he got the name. But see, that's the thing: is that how could he be the dating game killer? Because he got his victims from the dating game. No, no, no he he, was he on appeared it. on the dating game, and then he became the killer. So because he was. Uh, he was so nationally on this captured. show they called him the dating they killer. named him after they already found out that he was the guy oh, yeah. yes yeah because uh, usually these things are names well, that come yeah. up i would think well well it's all yeah. different sometimes they leave notes with clues and stuff and that gives yeah, them I, like the zodiac killer you know but he didn't leave the dating game killer on anything no <laughs> 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 Uh, BTK stands for Bind, Torture, That's Kill. That's the worst. That he is the worst. Dennis Rader. Oh, Dennis she Rader, is not to come out. She's written a book He's on it. He's killed right. and yeah, tortured. Yeah, that's the guy where you got, right? Yeah. 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 Sorry, awful. team. Got him mixed up. He's the worst. Well, what else are you going to yeah. kill and torture? Well, yeah, but he gets... Oh, Alan, did you just real? say that? These are that's, modern that's times. Normal. Modern times and real people. Yeah. Murdered by these folks it took 30 and years to catch make me feel out. very guilty so i'm just gonna carry on <laughs> <laughs> with the grimness of ted bundy yeah. g the campus oh, killer oh the really yeah. yes I'm susan you had it right i had to leave because i was my face yeah. was gonna give that away why was that yeah, ed Ke i looked it up ed kemper is the co-ed killer yeah. uh, and ed kemper is also the one that they um Whatever the TV show was where they did the Mind Hunter. Finally, Mind yeah. Hunter. Mind, man, Mind Hunter. Him. He killed his mom, his grandmother. Like yeah. he killed his mom because she just pissed him off. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's interesting. He's interesting to read about. Well, he's been oh, fascinating. Disturbing. Oh. Very, very. Uh, number seven, Ed Gein was E, the butcher of Plainfield. He was also known ah. as the mad butcher and the Plainfield fool. I'd never heard of this one. Ed Gein, butcher of Plainfield. Ed Gein, um, have you ever watched Silence of the Lambs, my lovely? No. Okay. No. Yeah. Have Sounds you ever watched? Oh, I think um, Psycho too. Psycho. Have you ever watched Psycho. the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. Yeah. Leatherface is based on no. Ed Gein because yeah. he. Took, yeah, he uh, Faith people. told us who he yeah. is, but I, yeah. I am not watching any of that. Sorry, I, I, I. I want to sleep at night. I am the person who oh. slept yesterday at like eleven hours without even having to get up to pee i mean it's just like solid no, no well nice done young writing. lady well done I am so happy you, wow. had, having that. you can put on your bed as, really as a man over 50 well wow. done wow. <laughs> oh gang you are so out of control i love it hey <laughs> lots of discussion on this Joseph D'Angelo was, oh, the Golden State Killer. Oh. He was found using G in the... That's him. Oh, oh damn it. Right. Oh, sorry, yeah. you guys. I thought he, he was... was okay. Okay. He was the Joe original Night Stalker, but that killer. title did not last long. Um, yeah, he started out as the Visalia Ransacker. Then he was the East Area Rapist. Mm -hmm. That's so, right. Well, he was, yeah, he was the East Area Rapist oh, in Sacramento. Yeah. <laughs> Even he raped a dear friend of mine. Oh, I'm yeah. really oh, yeah. yeah. oh my god, uh, we need to change these names. They need to be like, oh, that guy, that yeah. guy was the micro penis maniac. That <laughs> other one oh, he, was uh, the distorted sense of what it means to be a human being. He was the police oh. officer with the complex. Yeah. So and Lee, she survived. Lee? You what? They were just Did your friend it. survive? One of the guys was based yeah, on him. Yeah, she survived. Yeah, Actually, it was she was going to come to my house for dinner that evening and didn't show up. Oh. I kept calling her and I was leaving messages for her while she was being raped. Oh. And yeah, wow, you're this? on her phone. I you know, I had no idea and I was finally like I wonder if she's okay. I was going to drive over and check her out 
And then she called me and said, the police are here and you know, don't come over. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, it was, you know, it was like this happened. You know, the, the, it was the east area of Sacramento. And I'll tell you, there was every hardware store. You couldn't find a lock. Everybody was getting locks or buying guns. It was just a crazy time. I'm banned from uh, ever doing no. trivia ever again. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for bringing up all these great memories. Karen. Right? Thanks for yeah, triggering yeah. and, you know, upsetting everybody. Oh and, I, and I would like to apologize to all the wonderful lovers out there who just happen to have micro penises, some of whom I have, <laughs> who have, have wonderful <laughs> other Karen, Karen is so sensitive. Trust me, when they I'd just when like they to apologize to all the micro penises. Uh -huh. They try really yeah, we hard. We know, Karen, these people have, like, basement complexes. And Wait, stuff I want to hear what Lee has to say. What yes. did you say, Lee? Yeah, he, you know, he he screwed up thousands of people's lives. Mm -hmm. and, I'm just so glad they caught him. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's, if they put him in the electric chair, I could throw the switch with a smile on my face. And he was in law <laughs> enforcement, right? He, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I am not a violent person, but this is somebody that, oh, God, I just, yeah. I, 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 I'm right there with you. If you, if you were uh, sick that day, Lee, I would have no problem as well. Yeah, filling in yeah. for you. Yeah. Jay, you oh. know, maybe, maybe maybe I'm just nastier than Lee because I because I'd want something that uh, uh, more slow and excruciating right. <laughs> is yeah. is the method of death for somebody like that. He's still yeah. around too. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, if you, they if just you... caught him. Like, what was it? Twenty seven. Yeah, that's the one they use can, all the can, time. Can Lee DNA. finish this off, please? Oh, yes, we oh, can. I'm sorry. sorry. Number yeah, nine, let's kill this Gary topic. Ooh. was the Green River Killer. Ooh. Oh. Okay. And last but not least, number 10, David Berkowitz was N, the son of Sam. So now I'm going to yes, tell my also story. Also known he, as the he, 44 he, caliber he, killer. Yeah, he ruined my he ruined my dating life because I was a 19 year old dating girls with a car in New York City when this was happening to, you know, every day in the newspaper. Oh, you're Cat such a officially never does that again. <laughs> I wouldn't picture that of you. So, Rod, neither of them would go out with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that was always the excuse. Oh, I'm not getting in a car with you. Oh, I forgot what our team name was. <laughs> I think I need that distraction. Let's go over to scores. Yes, that was a great category for I discussions, but yeah, very I, creepy. I, I oh, I talk about all the ones that that were not the right answers. Oh, my sure. wife said, "Why didn't after, you guys do this, this sooner?" Okay, my wife was wondering after. why it took so long for us to come up with this category. Okay, yeah. Zoom emoji oh. unicorn madness. Well, we're consistent. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Four again. Oh, oh I thought we had oh. four. Oh, damn. Sorry. Wow. Shit, so shit, not, shit. not quite there yet, huh? Okay, so team number... Uh, Autocorrect can, Auto can kiss my ass. That's us, Vincent. Um, seven. Yep. Ooh. You know, yeah. you know your stuff up there, huh? Creeps. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, we knew we knew the Canadian one, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. Okay, so let's go. During the between solstice and New Year's, it's, if it's trivia, it must be Thursday. You must say the word. Thanks to Kevin. Did she we she had, had her computer say it. Interview room. We had nine. Wow. Kevin's wife was very helpful. Ooh. Oh, oh, she was off. I'm off afraid. Counter, huh? I'm very that. afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, very <laughs> Kevin. No, she loves that stuff on TV. Okay, miss miss you, Tommy. Mom always liked you best. Nine? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nine? Nine. Yep. Nine. We have right. a tie. Oh, 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 wait. Yes. Nicely done, Cat. Team Steve. two took our name, so mom always liked team two best. We look sweet, but we got 10. Whoa. 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 Somebody's pulling ahead there. For those who wanted it, I did put all of the answers in the chat. Okay, let's chat. take a photo. Everybody be here. Be here now. Be here now. I got to get my chainsaw. Hold on. What? <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What was that about? Pulling, pulling, a head, uh, pulling a head off or something like that? Oh, oh Lee's yeah. got a llama with him. Cereal he cereal. brought in one of his oh, llamas. Llama. Oh, llama. Oh, look at him. Okay, everybody llama, smile llama. at the camera. Hey, ready? Oh. One, no. two, 
three. <laughs> okay, happy New Year's on this one. All right, so we got to take a five minute break. Good night, everyone. Bye I got to go to sleep. Good night, Mike. Happy New Year's. See you next year. Yeah. Good night. I'll oh, it's I'll do my usual fade away. Uh, <laughs> Bye, Jim. See you, Jim. Bye. Good, Jim. Good night for everybody Bye. we're losing right now. Good night. Let's see. What do Bye, I do? Carolyn. September 28th. So Bye. we're on break, but I'm still recording. So watch what you say. Yeah, okay, don't bye. say anything. Thank you words. very much. Bye. Great. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to go get a snack in the kitchen. And I'll be back. Get me some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, ice cream and an apple. You have the apple, sir. The ice cream. It gets quiet right now. Anybody got a good yes. joke? No, I'm just overwhelmed with tremendous guilt. No, don't feel guilty. My wife loved that category. Don't don't feel bad. Don't don't feel no, that bad. was a good category. I have, I, have learned, he's not I have learned some of my trivia categories later on have caused trauma to other people that I didn't realize. I switched no, no. to. I was so sure of Gary Ridgeway. Um, I thought he was BTK, and I switched him with the the green. So I feel bad for my team because I was so sure. Cat, we've already had this category. It was like the third category I did. I searched all the topics because I, I was going to do one on cults and I'm like, nope, they did cults. Oh, you should have told us totally done one because we watched the cult of Mother God, which oh, we've, also done that. That. we've also had and a category just in like, cults. I wish I was that fucking smart to get a whole bunch of people to pay for my drug and alcohol addiction. Right? <laughs> like, it's just, it, like, that's what all that is. We'll start a new religion. Well, no, that was all, weird. all that she was did is she one. convinced people to follow her to, like, pay for her booze and for her drugs and to, for her party lifestyle. And like, and these people are still involved in the cult and she's been dead for almost like three years now. It'll be three years this April. And that was such a weird cult because it was just, such a belief that, that she just made up that these people decided like, for the truth. It's the truth. And it's just like, all they want to do is just like smoke pot and drink alcohol. Well, some yeah. people buy trading cards of, you know. Some people buy NFTs from ex presidents. Yeah, we know about that. Yeah. Well, cat, don't don't feel bad about this category. Yeah. I I love Carol, serial killers too. I, Everybody seemed to be having great discussions. Watch how you word that, there, Cindy. <laughs> you're not going back to my house if you're going to say In, you love serial. I, cat, cat. I did a category on. Songs that were about murder. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> that That's a happy nice. little ditty. Yeah. I, I have found myself down this down that Wikipedia rabbit hole way too many times. There is um definitely a a, a culture uh, that follows this, and there is definitely it's definitely more popular with women than it is with men. Oh yeah, yes. but the thing the thing about about killers and being interested is not. It's not that you want thing is real exciting. It's that this is the most depraved thing that human beings can do to one another. And it's like it's just you're so astounded. It's the antithesis that, of who I, I am, so I don't understand. Well, it's, it. it's, it's, it's trying to understand. It's yeah, that's, that's and why and what all human beings can get so, themselves to that point where they think this. That's thing what is all okay. these murder files want us to think. Mm -hmm. So what what it is is you're you're really studying what kind of uh, psychology these people have to be to do something so depraved and heinous to the other human being, or just because understanding understanding like even if you look at the um who are the two who are the two rich wealthy brothers that murdered their parents Menendez, Menendez brothers Menendez brothers. And you have like the affluenza defense. Mm -hmm. It's this whole, it's, it always reminds me to never trust anyone until I have, like, I have to get enough information about like somebody, like you could be, you could, you could do anything to me. You're wealthy, you're affluent, or you come from a broken home. Like, and that, and I think that's what's so fascinating about Ed Kemper is that he had, there was nothing about the way he was raised I, or anything like he came from a stable home. And yet he decided at like 19 or 20 years of age to murder his mother and his grandmother. 
No, I think because he wanted to see what it was like. It and wasn't Aunt Kemper the one who's who was raised by the single mom, and she would lock him in the basement at times. No, just really no. Kemper, down. Kemper, like when they looked at Ed Kemper, Ed Kemper had no indication of being abused, anything like that. It's and he's the, the one who's like, like six foot eight or something. Yeah, he he's like six foot eight. And the people that have interviewed him, when they've talked with him, he's been unhandcuffed across the table from him. And he's made basically made statements that if I wanted to right now, I could crush your your skull with my bare hand. He's like, I have that capacity, and I know I have that capacity because I've done it before. And it's it's this, it's knowing that a human being is so okay with that, and knowing that there's like what we know about psychology is that there's nothing that's been that's happened to them in the past to make them do what they did. It's it's like when you look at um the cobalt, what's his face? The one with Columbine kids, cobalt. Mm -hmm. His mother has written books about how she had no idea. Right. Like you thought I my son was okay. I thought we had the perfect suburban American family. And the next thing you know, she's getting a phone call where he shot up his entire school and murdered a whole bunch of students. And knowing that I was talking to my kid at dinner, asking him how he was doing. I did everything right. And I had no no idea that my son was engaged in these types of activities behind closed doors and being influenced. And it's it's under it's, it's just being fascinated by how the brain can be well, turned on and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think usually uh, they classify them as psychopaths, but not all psychopaths are murderers, but more like at the stream Most psychopaths end. are CEOs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, CEOs they, they, are psychopaths. They, yeah. The psychopath has actually been That's, removed from the DSM now and antisocial personality disorder. Antisocial personality yeah, disorder. Narcissistic psychopath. personality disorder. But you mostly expect people to have those personality traits if they grew up in a broken home or had no good role models. And then you like you see the Menendez brothers, like they had ev their parents did everything possibly right to give them the opportunity, but yet they decided that they wanted their parents' money right now. And yeah, I, I I don't I don't I don't know if they're still saying they think it's they 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 claim their parents sexually abused them. I don't know if there's any credible inform if there's any credible information to support that notion. They're, they're like, and we're, we're never going to know the truth to that situation. But the simple fact is, is that they, instead of getting out of that situation and cutting their parents off, yeah. they chose to brutally murder them in their living room. Okay. Yeah, but I don't I, understand I, how people can do that. Like, it's, it, well, it's, well, it's like, it, it's weird because, you know, today, on, like on Reddit and stuff, people are talking about how Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Mm -hmm. is being released from prison today and her mother like she convinced her boyfriend at the time to murder her mother because she was a victim of munchausen by proxy yeah and that it's poor like girl that that's an individual that if i ever like ran across her i would never trust her because she's never right. been able to formally understand right from wrong she's been taught lying from a very young age even if she wasn't aware of it Lying and, and manipulating like how, and changing yeah, she knows the how to manipulate. You. Like, how can you ever trust somebody like that? And how how can she ever trust herself that she'll ever get beyond manipulating people on that? Is, I, yeah, but we, we don't, don't know, what, know how to do. We don't know what kind of therapy she got in prison because most prisons nowadays she mm. do try to run programs. She she ended up marrying a guy sometime this past summer. Like she got married to a guy that has kids. It's all like all they did was correspond with each other. Like there's yeah. just mm -mm. that's something. There's that, something about those people. I don't understand. And she already has like a TikTok following over a half a million people before yeah. she got out of prison. Has a uh, book deal. It's like. No, 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 no. Her that's... whole entire family is like, you need to keep her away from social media. You yeah, because that's only going to make things worse. This. You need to keep her away from people and let her let her readjust because she's been in prison for almost, she's been in prison for eight years. Do you know, like, how much has the world changed technologically wise, like with social media since 2015? Who are we talking about? Uh, Gypsy Rose Gypsy. Blanchard. The, mo the mom who um she murdered her mother in Missouri, be, um and her mom was 
like perpetuated this idea that she had leukemia, muscular dystrophy, oh. was in a wheelchair. Munchausen and by proxy, lady. Munchausen by proxy, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, we ready to get back on yep. this lovely thought? I can imagine. I can't wait to listen to the video of this and see what you guys are talking about when I'm in the other room. <laughs> we were talking about, a, um, Mark's uh, just found out a podcast that's all about the Magic Castle and the scandals that are happening there. And I knew Our magic of this. Castle? Huh? Our Magic Castle? Yeah, yeah. I'd heard What's of these scandals know? because of a, a somebody I met in Dallas at one of the magic conventions and and he he's an anthropologist and he's been telling me a lot about it and then Mark said oh look this podcast came out about all this stuff because like you know the magicians there's a lot of magicians who used to dress Asian like Max um, yeah and that's orientalism Rita where you you your white man taking on a persona of an Asian person is like being in blackface it's now considered really bad. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's a lot of things that, let's just say that magic is an, is kind of an old white man's kind of thing. And um, they, in a lot of places, they haven't quite caught on and caught up, but interesting. Anyway, we're back. So I understand that this is our last game of the year of 2023. I hope you guys have some good moments. Here comes here comes Robin. The little Robin. She's going to be going to Antarctica. Is that where you're going? I am. She's going to Antarctica. Ben, when do you leave? I leave um January 27th. Oh, so you'll be you'll still be here for the workshop for the um Yes, camp. I'm coming to, I'm coming to Skeptic Camp. Thank yeah. you. Okay. She says she says her she's coming in from Vegas on the fifth, and you're flying into Monterey. Yes. So you can just come. I think I'm going to do it at the Monterey um, uh, London Bridge. Do you think that's a good idea? Do they still? Do you think they can accommodate us? They've done it the last couple of years, Robin. I wanted to ask you that. Um, sure. Yeah. What day of the week is it? It's a Friday. It's a Friday. You know, Fridays will be a little bit more. Um... In the back part, that noisy back room, and crowded, but usually the back is usually pretty quiet. Yeah, and we have, and if we let them know ahead of time, they can kind of let us have that table. Anato boss, Ellen. Yeah. Hey, hey, Robin, are you a per person that uh, posts pictures while traveling? Will we be able to vicariously enjoy your trip? I will have limited internet access, but when I have internet access, I'll do a photo dump. Oh, that'd be great. And yeah. remember, it's it's midsummer there, so it's going to be really hot. It will not be hot, <laughs> but it will be sunny. <laughs> what what get get sunburned? What's the plan for getting through the national uh, blockade of the uh, ice wall? Because <laughs> um, the world is flat, you she, know. She's <laughs> only going to the edge of the ice wall. <laughs> oh, okay. Robin, do you know the people <laughs> at London back. Bridge Pub? I don't. Okay. I really don't. All right. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. So we're uh, back. Robin Lind Lindblad or? No, um, that's way out of my price range. I'm going on the MV Ortelius, which is costing me $11,000, not 40. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's, it's a, it's a 300 foot long ship. It's a Russian built icebreaker. Do you have to catch yeah. your own food? <laughs> no, no. That uh, we have actually. You have to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's definitely like it's a hardcore adventure birding trip with you know zodiac landings on to see the albatross nests and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So. Cool. Also, a few days of birding in Buenos Aires before we go down. Do you have enough warm clothes? Oh my God. Um, I, I only need to dress for 32 degrees, really. The most important thing is having Gore-Tex outerwear because sometimes in the Zodiac you get wet. Yeah. And, and really good gloves. Yes. Gore-Tex gloves. I have some and, shopping and to a, do. And a hat. Okay. And a hat. Yeah. She gets a hat. Yeah. And why is my internet slow? Is all right so let's see we live in the united on. states i just had an article come out thankfully they've changed the name of it and it's now called 
What a load of hooey psychic Cheryl Murphy. And she is somebody that um, Barry says, don't make her famous. I'm like, oh, I want to make her famous. <laughs> make her infamous. She is, yeah, infamous. That's a, that's a much better. So that's my latest article. And I have another one on the trip to New Zealand that should be coming out probably next week because they want to space them out a little bit. And I have another one I have on my desktop right now. I've been working on it for the last day. And it's about, well, I'm not going to say it's about mediumship, but it's, it's, I don't know. I, it's very out of my thoughts kind of thing. And I think that um, the last few months of really, really intensely focusing on grief vampires I, the way I have, I, I've changed my mind on a few things. So I think this should be interesting. Anyway, that that's probably not coming out till January something. But anybody have anything else? I know that Data Skeptic is uh, still doing well. Yeah, we got a fun episode this week. I'm talking to an author of a book called Uncontrolled, all about uh, risks of AI and his concerns specifically about artificial super intelligence. If a machine can do everything you can do, but better. Isn't that already? Oh, that's good. Well, not quite of everything, but yeah, <laughs> many things. Depends for, for on the person, people. I think. Right? Sure, true. <laughs> it would probably know not to put its fingers near the beak of a dangerous bird. <laughs> yeah, it might have that figured Ooh. out. Oh, swipe. <laughs> did you have an injury, Kyle? Did you did something yeah, happen? Yeah, healing up thing? nicely. Yeah. Everybody's still talking about his off. injury. What was the what was the dangerous bird? Uh just a cockatoo. Uh, just uh, got me real good. A lot of cockatoo with an attitude. Somebody's yeah. had a splint on the finger. I, I have, that... I have, I don't know if you know this little trick, but um, when I was banding birds in another life, um, if they clamp down on you, I would blow in their faces and they open their mouths. <laughs> and just oh, like, that's yeah. Just test yeah, that. I can see yeah. that working. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I wish, or you lose again. your nose, either one, <laughs> <laughs> or your eye. It goes for the weak part of your face. It goes for your eye. Sure. <laughs> Their mouth is open. Let's get them. Uh, <laughs> get <done. laughs> um, Adrian, Ow. do you have anything on the zone? I, I know this interview that I did with Maynard should be coming out pretty soon. Yeah, probably this week because I'm not. Yeah, I'm looking forward to yeah. that because he talks, Maynard talks a lot about Mark Edward, which was interesting. Oh. Is Maynard that? is a tough one to keep up with, shall I say. Maynard is very interesting interviewer he's one of the best interviewers so i've good. ever seen that does who can so talk quick. to anybody people who are he could have trump supporters here and have them laughing and talking about stuff that look like he's he's amazing the way he can talk to anybody it's really interesting and yeah. get them all on the same page he will find something you have in common very yeah. interesting interviewer yeah so that probably would, i'm guessing is going to be this week and he, uh, next week will be the first newsletter because there's two weeks off for the newsletter. Mm -hmm. So next week will probably be the newsletter. And I'm going somewhere really special next week too. Yes, you oh, are. Oh, wow. where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to California and talk about Sarah Winchester. Oh, boy. And Tourette syndrome and OCD and ADHD and all that stuff. Yeah, so. this is going to be so fun. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to really hit the media big time in the next day or so. Right, Deborah? Yeah, <laughs> I will send you pictures. I haven't gotten any uh any content though. I thought Kathy was going to write something. Yeah, Kathy's going to write it up. It's okay. It's okay. We've done this for several years, and we always yep. it's always at the end. Whenever that's whenever you can get a hold of the media. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Adrian's yep. going to be coming when, here. I'm when are you coming in, Adrian? I'm flying in on Thursday. I will pick her up in San Francisco, and she's coming down here. The plan. The, okay get this this is this is great check out this plan i'm picking adrian up well tomorrow i'm going to pull out all the av that and I, have. I have nothing to do with it because it's like susan i'm like oh so what's going to go happen here and here and here adrian don't worry about it adrian all taken care me. of don't worry about it <laughs> so, uh, so going along. you're getting data updates every half hour on the messenger today <laughs> no no. But tomorrow I'm pulling out all the av and i'm going to go through all the av make sure it works i'm working on the survey and I'm going to get pictures to you guys for, for the advertisement. But I'm picking Adrian up on Thursday. San Francisco, you arrive in the morning. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you're staying the night with me and, and in my house. 
-hmm. And then Friday, we're going to San Jose. And we're picking up Jane. Yay. Hey. We're picking up Jane <laughs> in San Jose. It's only an hour drive. And then we're coming back. And then Friday night, we're going to have a skeptic meetup. And Lee will be here. Kyle will be here. Wendy will be here. Deborah yeah. will be here. Robin. James probably won't be here on Friday. Okay. Um, Cindy will be here. Paula coming up. Paula yeah. will be here. Do we know Leonard where? Leonard won't be here on Friday. I'll be Leonard. here. Karen will be Karen here. will be here. <laughs> okay, Robin will be dry, flying in right in time for the for the meetup, and so Friday night it's a meet and greet. Then Saturday is all day. The entire day is full. It is set up, conference, clean up, go get something to eat and hang out. And it and I have a house rented right around the corner from my house for Adrian, Jane. <laughs> Wendy and Paula and Lee and Kyle are staying with Peggy. I'm going to get two talks and George. by Adrian. And George. <laughs> yeah. yeah, George. I was informed about blast. this last week. It was, oh, by the way, Adrian. <laughs> so when you guys fly in, make sure you get lots of rest. I'm flying in my arms. Because your arms will be very tired. Oh, oh, there's the punchline. And then Sunday, <laughs> wait, wait, it gets better. So Sunday, we're driving up to Santa Clara. A lot of us have tickets, I hope, are ready for the Winchester Mystery House. Mark Edward and I are, have our, well, Mark, I, Adrian, and probably other people are going okay. to be going to the <laughs> to the ghost part, the seance Thanks. part. And then after that tour is over, then several people, including Leonard and Mark, are going to walk over to this other restaurant that I picked out. And it's half a block away. And then they will stay there while the other people will be going to the tour of the main house. Yeah, we'll scare people away from the restaurants at this point. And then, yeah, I hope so. For everybody yeah. else. And then we'll go over to the restaurant and we can hang out. And then uh, Paul is going home. Kyle isn't going to be there. I mean, Carl isn't going to, Kyle isn't going to be there. <laughs> Lee's Why? not going to be there. I'll be there. But Wendy will be, and Jane will be, and Paula, I mean, anyway. And then Monday, we're going to do the Steinbeck Museum and michael's restaurant and then tuesday we take jane back is that right yeah take jane to the airport and then wednesday i'm leaving mark and i are driving up to san jose and leaving adrian on the side of the road <laughs> <laughs> and i'll tell Leonard where we we left her and then he'll come pick her up and then i'm flying to the west the east coast to the spirit conference west coast uh east coast spirits and then leonard is going to take her to san jose uh san francisco nice. on thursday that's the plan and then rob's going to run trivia that night what is a spirit conference it's a it's a it's a uh, mentalism conference oh, okay not about rum and whiskey and vodka no it's not that uh, not real spirits I'll be in Vegas from the night of January 1st till the till flying out on the evening of the 5th. So, Brandy, if you feel like meeting for lunch or dinner sometime. Are you going for work reasons? That'd be cool. I am going. Uh, my sister's getting married by Elvis. <laughs> and then we're going I knew he wasn't there. sister's already married. One, one of the Elvi. One of the Elvi. Isn't, isn't your sister so my sister? Married? My sister didn't. My sister had a big wedding, but she wasn't legally married. So now she's getting legally married for health insurance reasons. And then, um... <laughs> so it, to make the wedding formal, you get married by Elvis, right? Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> that makes it official. Oh, Everybody okay. knows that. All right. Oh my God, so, Susan! I'm I'm reading your uh, the, the link you put for the article. So they kept the old stupid name in the link. That's what they did. That is amazing. Oh, oh well, because they can't to. change it once it's already out. Oh, They've already got the link in there. So yeah. Well, you could change it and just put a redirect page in the old URL. Well, wow. that's too much work. 
I'm just happy they've changed added the photos and changed the name to what I I meant to have it called. What a load of hooey, psychic Cheryl Murphy. Okay, anybody have anything else that I should know about? Well, I'm still waiting for them to publish my interview with uh, Ms. Hill. It's been quite yeah. a long time and it hasn't come out yet, so I don't know what's going on. But it was Christmas week, so hopefully it'll be out soon. Yeah. Okay. And um, as I mentioned, no, no some... giggling, very serious. Oh yeah, sure. They have to. They have to take all the A's out. <laughs> it takes a I long think, time. I don't say a lot of A's because no, I don't remember I'm not, that I'm not really Canadian, but the giggles mm -hmm. are another matter. And what do you mean um, you're not really Canadian? This, this I've is never noticed to me. that about you, Adrian. Well, I am Canadian, but I don't say A. Mm. I don't know if that makes me not Canadian. I do say sorry a lot. Oh, something that sorry. was really interesting to sorry. me when I went to London, everybody there says sorry about every little thing. And I'm like, that's where we got that's it. That's where from. it comes from. There you go. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Just as your incorrect pronunciation of, uh, of hotel. Herb and hotel. Oh, herb. Yeah. Herb. herb. And you say an hotel. Yeah. You don't say a hotel. That's yes, right. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> a hotel. No. Uh, all right. So, so the other thing. I, I always hear they leave the article off altogether and they just say go to hospital. Well, yeah. that's it. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. Or I'm on, I'm on holiday instead of right. vacation. Yeah, that's that's because they're part Russian. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. But I All do. Right, so the other thing I have is what? if if anybody's home on New Year's Day with nothing to do at eight o'clock Eastern time, which is earlier for most of you people, um, PM. I convinced recovering from religion to, they were going to take the night off. We always do a Monday meeting, and we have a guest like the next week. By the way, is Eugenie Scott talking about creation, creationism in the courts? And I had Ross Blotcher previously a couple of weeks ago talking about his. Arc Encounter Tour. But so instead of taking off, what we're going to do is a special thing. And we're going to have me and about five or six other long-term volunteers for, for recovery from religion, just discussing and with a Q&A, their own deconversion stories for our clients. So if you find any interest in that kind of a topic, like why we're atheists, you might want to tune in. So I will put the, uh, the link in the chat just in case. Ooh, and I almost forgot. Richard and I were interviewed by seth andrews and it should be coming out in the next few weeks he oh, said what was the topic? Oh. he messaged me what oh we went that? everywhere we went all over the place we just really was, i want to oh, be interviewed cool. well will that be written or recorded that's recorded oh great because seth has a fantastic voice i know his voice is too good it's so it's good a, it's it's it it's spooky <gasps> it's, it's spooky so good. I couldn't for a long time. I couldn't listen to him at all because I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> like, and he is such a kind man and so nice. And I mean, I was good. really nervous. And originally, it was just going to be me. And then he said, "I'd like to bring Richard on board too." And I'm like, "Yes, please. I'll have a friend there who can save me." <laughs> <laughs> but you know, have me, you met once him, again, Have you met him in real life? Adrian? I've met him twice because he was yeah. at our conference last year. He was lovely. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and that's yeah, how he. he He's a great after, guy. After my talk, he texted me and said, I need to, to get you on my show. So that was, I was so excited by that. That was, yeah, because for me, I was thinking, what would Seth Andrews do? Seth Andrews is going to be watching me. I have to, to polish this, right? So that was deeply gratifying that he reached out to me after that. So I, I it was a little surreal, to be honest. And I'd met him once before at Imagine No Religion in Toronto, and he was so gracious and hung out with us and just a, a, an amazing human being. I can't say enough. And was, was Natalie with him? No, no. Both times Natalie was not there. In fact, he basically flew in Friday and flew out Sunday morning. So he was there for a very brief time. He's Natalie has dad. to stay home and take care of Kat yeah. and Gracie and um, Linus. Linus, yeah. Okay, so the other thing I want to mention right before we go back, because we need to get get to it, mm -hmm. is that um, Monday, or no, Tuesday, I'm sorry, just a couple days ago, it's, it's only been two days, um, a few of us oh, were yeah. on this, we did this thing, and I've never done this before, but it was kind of interesting, and that was... Um, the bingo? Yeah, we I did cold bingo. reading bingo on my channel. Um it was uh, Kenny Biddle, Rob Palmer, Cindy, Adrian, Kat, myself, and Mark Edward. And we, oh my God, could somebody quickly explain what we did? 
we listened to clips that Susan put together of psychics and we each had a bingo card. And when they said something from that bingo card, we had to cross it out. So and instead of numbers being on the card, like in real bingo, Susan had picked out typical phrases that a psychic like will energy. Use. energy Gee, was right How many the times spot. did energy was yeah. energy said? Or yeah, do you understand? That or was a number other. between one and five, or it's yeah. a J name. Or yeah. an N name, yeah. right? Those are the types of things yeah. that were on our cards. It was really fun. We we had a lot of laughs. I wish I would have went to that. It was a lot of fun. And it's so here's the link. I gave it to you. And 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 what I didn't tell you guys when it was live, because as we were going on, I had just found out my uncle died. Uh -huh. Which we mentioned at the beginning. And and one of those medium sitting readings was almost identical to the story of how my uncle died. It was the one where they were 90 something years old and they had cancer and they decided not to treat it and just let it take its course. And you know, the, the psychic is, the medium is giving her all bullshit stuff and I'm just like holding my head, oh my God. You know, and this was exactly what my family had gone through, except they didn't go to a medium mm -hmm. to hear this nonsense after you know he passed, they're not gonna do that. But that was, I took that personally. It's mm -hmm. like, I, I cannot stand these people lying to people and that's what they're doing. Just close to home. Okay, so we're ready to start, I believe. I yep, hope I have so. my powers. You're ready? I'm ready to go. I already gave you your powers. Did I give you your powers? I don't know. I haven't looked. Okay, there. Now you have them. No, okay. yeah, I, so I am now powerful. I cannot give oh. them to you too early because if I do, then you know that's a problem. I know I'm going to run them up. Oh, and I we are fill up on. next week. Uh, the week after that, which would be the January 11th, I have Avi, and that's it. And that's the week you I throw would... me on there. Okay, and that is okay. So that's two. Well, we can deal with that next week. But just FYI, I need to mention that. Remind me to mention this earlier so that I can get the people who usually leave early. You know, but... and sign them right, up for yeah. the first category the next week. Kevin. No, 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 no. Oh don't have one i said sign those people up oh early, yeah for early, early categories for early categories yeah that makes sense <clears throat> sign them up early for early categories yep mm -hmm. <clears throat> are you ready to go mm -hmm. yep so my that was a long five minutes sorry i <laughs> know oh, it's five minutes for break and then oh it... i'm sorry i'm in chit chat then the social part mute me please <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So my theme is was inspired somewhat by what Brandy did last week, which I thought was really fun. It was just taking a book and, and using it, as well as the fact that I'm working on this fellow's Wikipedia page. So the theme is, on this day in history, shit went down by James. Oh, James Bell, oh. he's five days. <laughs> so I have no idea. I mean, these are kind of fun little thoughts. And I picked some dates and I hope you have fun. And I've also, like Gail today, tried to beat Rob's record of longest questions. Uh, oh, dear. Impossible. <laughs> so here we go. So the first date that I chose, and just for those of you who don't know this book, what it is, is it's a whole bunch of book or uh, dates. One, a, a day for every... Uh, there's a history that he goes over for every day of the year. So on this day in history, and in the days that I've chosen, the first day is April 3rd, 1882. The man who shot the man, who shot the man, who shot this man was a cop. And that's a straight quote from the book. This is how fun that book is. On April 3rd, 1882, this well-known train and bank robbing outlaw was shot by his friend, Robert Ford. On June 8th, 1892, Ford was shot by Edward O'Keefe, possibly for the fame of killing the man who killed the outlaw. On January 13th, 1904, O'Keefe was shot and killed by police officer Joe Burnett, after Burnett said a polite hello to O'Keefe, who replied by punching the officer and drawing his pistol. Burnett won the fight. Who was the outlaw who was killed? That's the guy, the, the original killer. He's the outlaw. So you these are random dates is what you're choosing, right? Sort that of. They had funny. They're sort of random. random. Okay, got it. So <laughs> the outlaw who was killed, was that the first guy who was shot? Or? Very first, the very first guy who was shot. Very first guy. 
the very first guy. All the other stuff is just fun. Right. Okay. Next date is April 6, 1994. In Rwanda, the conflict between the Hutu and the Tutsi had been problematic for several decades before 1994. An event occurred on April 6, 1994 that instigated Rwanda Hutu extremists to commit genocide against the Tutsi. In three months, over half a million Tutsi were murdered. It's pretty nasty. And what was this event that spurned this genocide? And by the way, there was a Canadian general who warned of this possibility, but was ignored. He was psychic? <laughs> no, it was I'm just gonna, Canadian. You put it in the chat because you know Janine. Oh, do you know what? They're all, it's the last one just went to Kat because Kat sent me a message. Kat? You got to share? I'm going to share it. Just give me a second. Well, I'll Leonard just sent me a message that didn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, but that that was I just it was supposed on. to go to a different person. You guys better watch who you're sending messages. <laughs> so that I never know who you're going to be sending the wrong message to. Do you watch want me it. to read it again? I think you're okay. I don't need to. Read no, it we again. can do it. Oh. All right. So it was actually in the, the chat. Psychic Canadian general. Okay, guys. Yeah, yeah. So what you need to do is name the event that caused the geno genocide. August seventh, nineteen sixty two. Canadian-American physician pharmacologist Francis Oldham Kelsey was awarded the President's Award for Distinguished Federal Civilian Service by John F. Kennedy for not giving into pressure from the German drug company, oh dear, Grunenthal, Grunenthal probably, to approve for use in the United States, a drug that was being used in other countries. This drug was being used as, but not limited to, a tranquilizer or painkiller. What was the name of this drug? The spelling oh. count. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, don't worry about spelling. Okay. The next one is August 8th, 1942. Oh. Mahatma Gandhi gave a speech to the All Indian Congress Committee where he said, Ours in not, I think it's supposed to be is, ours is not a drive for power, but purely a nonviolent fight for India's independence. This speech was called what? A, freedom for our people. B, quit India. C, peaceful independence. D, power to the people. Or E, Brits be gone. And I just got the theme of this. Thank you, Adrian. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's fun. It doesn't really help you, but it's fun. No, <laughs> it's not going to help me at all. Especially with that last one, but yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's helped me pick out the dates. That's all. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, if you're wondering, it's birthdays of people who attend here. That she happens to know their birthdays. Yeah. Or I look them up. I, on I know who's August 8th. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. And, and I, I know who's August 7th. Yeah. See, oh. I was going to do something like this with everybody on my team, but I had to get everybody figured out first. Yeah. So it's they would hard, all yeah. be on my team. And I rearranged the questions during the night. Ooh, oh, tricky. August 11th. And I think I got a message from this person. Oh, well, it was somebody else. Okay, it was all right. August 11th, 1942. This well-known actress changed her name from Hedwig. I know it sounds like the owl from Harry Potter, but it is not. <laughs> it was a name. <laughs> Keisler, when she moved to the United States, MGM Studios promoted her as the world's most beautiful woman, but Keisler thought her most interesting work was as an inventor. She and her friend and composer developed a device that created FHSS, or frequency hopping spread spectrum, that could help torpedoes hit their target. The pair received a patent on August 11th, 1942. Both were posthumously in inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2014. What name did Hedwig choose and and is best known for? So in other words, what is her stage name? Yeah. We had this question before, and if I had Carl's memory, I would know the answer. Exactly. I know it. I know it. I know it. I, know I wrote it. it down. Yeah. I know it. So our team's covered. We get at least one. <laughs> Yay. That's why we play in teams. And... I I was pretty sure we had that question, but I wasn't going to change it because it was skipped, part of my. We skipped Robin's birthday. Well, as I say, I don't I'm know. Not done yet. Yeah, no, sure. Her birthday was the in order. In, we're, we're going in order. 
we're going in order. And these are the ones that I found easily on Facebook or new. Hot reading. Yep. <laughs> Number six, August 19th, 1953. On this day, in an agreement with the United Kingdom, the CIA unleashed a plan to overthrow the elected government of Mohammed Mosaddegh in Iran and replace him with the Shah as an authoritarian ruler. Who was the prime minister of the U United Kingdom at this time? Hmm. 1953. Hmm. Number seven, September 10th, 1776. Nathan Hale was the only person to volunteer to be a spy during the American Revolutionary War when this famous general said he needed a spy for a dangerous mission. Hale volunteered, and he was the only one to volunteer, just so you know, on September 10th, 1776, and was dead only 12 days later after being caught in New York with incriminating documents on him. What was the name of the general looking for the volunteer spy? I know that one. Yay. I might know some of these. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you're on my team. This is a good thing. Oh, yeah, that's true. Huh? <laughs> oh, but these are all easy. Everybody will know these. Number eight, November 6, 1986. <gasps> On this day, the U.S. government owned up to illegal activity. What was the nature of this illegal activity, or what is the name this scandal is usually called? So I'll accept either. Giddy. November 14th, 1889. Elizabeth Cochran, whose pen name was Nellie Bly, gained fame when she went undercover pretending to be insane in the woman's lunatic asylum on Blackwell's Island in New York and wrote a book about her experiences. But on November 14th, 1889, she decided to go on another adventure. Bly left Hoboken on a steamship to set a world record, write a book about her experiences, and replicate a, and better a journey by what famous novel? Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. That's so weird. There's an amusement park in Brooklyn called the Nellie Bly Amusement Park, and it has like a mad fun house or something. Oh, really? <laughs> she was an interesting lady. Wow. Yeah. We really we've cool. translated her page into Portuguese, I think. Her Wikipedia ah. page. Something like that. We didn't write her English page, but I yeah, think she's she was fascinating to read about. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg for I mean, she was a rebel. She was cool. And the last one is just nobody's birthday. It's because it's today, December 28th, 1918. And this one, this is another kick-ass lady, I have to say. In 1900, the Irish Countess Constant, and I don't, I have no idea, Markovich, omitted the part about obeying her husband during her wedding vows, became a guerrilla fighter <laughs> against the British imperialists, was a sniper, and a good one, apparently, during the 1916 Eastern Rebellion and served multiple prison sentences during her lifetime. <laughs> Go Countess! <laughs> On December 28th, 1918, Constance became the first woman who became what? And it, uh, if you didn't notice, it does say Irish, so she was from Ireland. Well, those people kick ass. They kick, well, this particular well, this woman, woman did. My it almost sounds like it almost sounds like this is made up. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? But the, yeah, this is the stuff that's in his book. It's so it's fun. So, um, Adrian, where is all the cursing? You do you know what is really interesting? On these particular pages, there was cursing, but not very much. Some of them had very little or none at all. Well, so shit, cursing. She's shit. James Bell does a really good job about not cursing on these posts. It's his other ones that he cursed on. Yeah. And, and his he, substack, also, uh, substack also. Yeah. Well, his substack know him great. well. That's his interesting. Substack is great. I a lot of people know his work. That's really nice. I knew about this group. Uh, I, there is, I think, in one of the answers, I posted some of the curse curses. 
So it'll come. Mm-hmm. Oh, we get cursing. Everybody's, gonna, everybody's well, gonna get cursed. It was in the title. We sure as hell better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All righty, Rue. Okay. Got to send everybody to their room. Yeah, let's go to our rooms. Robin, where am I putting Robin? Let me see. We'll take, oh, oh, you're going to room four. There's no, there's no chance <laughs> that you're going anywhere but there. They badly need you, Robin. They got a unicorn in their name. You better go there. Doc. On a Google Doc. Ooh, peepers. Okay. <clears throat> Some of these uh, we don't are pretty simple. One, two, three, four, six it makes me it. think that I'm wrong because they seem too simple. Um, All right. No, they're, they're first, one, first one is um, uh, it was Billy the Kid. Yeah, I think that was one word shot. Is that right? Yeah. I think you're right. That was one for Yeah. Job. Um number two. Number two. Aircraft crash. Killed the president of uh, Rwanda. Ooh. Oh. Number three. I have that. That's tri- tri- I don't have to pronounce it. Tri- trimal tri- 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 it may be yeah, oh, thalidomide. Yeah, oh, thalidomide. thalidomide, but it starts with a T, right? P H yeah. thalidomide. What is it? Thalidomide. How do you spell yeah. it? T H A L I D O. No, 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 no. Start with the word, the letters, slowly, because I'm typing T H. T H A L. I D, O M I D E. Thank you. Welcome. That's that was the one that gave gave the uh, deformed uh, extra fingers and toes. Yeah, the, well, yeah they the were born armless. Was born armless. Was born armless. What is that? Yeah. She is. She... <laughs> 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 your cat wants you. She loves you. They keep blocking my my screen. Oh, I know. Mine get on my mouse. Okay, number four. Quit India. Quit India? That does sound familiar. Said the B. I thought peaceful and independence would be it. No, quit India. Oh. Apparently. You've read about that, Caspian? Yes. All right. Well, let's go with Caspian, of course. Yeah. Number five, that's uh, for all the length or verbiage there, all they need to say was a few things. It's Teddy Lamar. Teddy Lamar. And that makes sense now that you see her name is Hedwig. Yeah, Hedwig. Teddy? Yeah, didn't, kind of, do, didn't even need the uh, nickname, her uh, birth name. Mm-mm. No, that almost confused it. Okay, yeah. number six, Churchill. Churchill. Ah, which one? Prime Minister. There was only one who was Prime Minister. <laughs> oh well, I was. Bur- I learned to say that which Churchill because there was many. Okay. Number one, April is uh, my birthday. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I that's think that's, that's why she picked it. <laughs> the number seven, I assume, is George Washington. Washington. Yeah, Washington. Yeah. Is that right? Um, yeah. Yeah, the whole spy network. I've got a yeah. book on it. It's really interesting. From what they can put together. I ran oh, thanks, Contra Adrian. Deal on number eight. Contra, con, I ran Contra. Iran Contra, yeah. Oh, Iran Contra? Yeah. Thanks, Adrian. That was sweet, by the way. Putting his birthday in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember. I would say around the world in 80 days. That's what I read. That's what I thought, yeah. Number nine. Uh-huh. I think, uh, I think uh, around the world in 80 days was written sometime in the 1800s. Could that have been in it? Yeah, that's Could what that, I read. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number 10, I don't know. What did she become the first woman who became what? Irish Prime Minister? I do not Most. know either. 
I was gonna joke and say a man. <laughs> I almost said I said that in my mind. But well, they did. They didn't invent that in surgery the... until about the nineteen. First woman to be executed. And... No, they've executed other women. Um... Barbara's talking, but she's 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 muted. So she could be saying oh. all the right answers all this time. I was no, I, I definitely was not saying the right answers. <laughs> Um, except for Iran Contra, because I that's the only one I knew. Yeah. Um, I'm mean, excuse you have been the Irish Prime Minister. The, the Irish Countess. Mm, Irish now, Prime. my guess is probably executed by the British government for Irish independence or something along those lines. But it says okay, Constance became the first woman who became what? And that makes it sound like what Cindy said. And not what Caspian okay. said. Only the way the way the questions were. It makes it sound like she's still alive, or well, afterwards. It sound like she's still she alive. became yeah. the first woman who became something. A, a yeah, corpse. I, I'm going to go with prime <laughs> minister because that was uh, the, the language. Does I agree with you, Susan? If if it would have been Caspian's wordage, which sounds good, it would have been she became the first woman who be who was something. Be, yeah, yeah, I, she would have worded the question that. differently. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. Irish martyr, perhaps. <laughs> it wouldn't have been prime minister. I, I don't even think women could vote in Ireland at the time. Well, I, I don't think the first killed or executed or anything. The first woman, because I'm sure that was a big deal. But just because women couldn't vote doesn't mean the men wouldn't vote for her, especially if she fought for Irish independence. And then well, that's true. Ireland. She wasn't. I maybe she, she became a priest. Who <laughs> <laughs> became what? In first general, the first something martyr. She was mili military since so she was a guerrilla fighter and a sniper. Ooh, a general? Do they have general? maybe something to do with the military? Uh, a prisoner in their one of their famous prisons. <laughs> no, <laughs> or she had she had, she's been in prison a lot. I guess yeah. it sounds like. So multiple prison sentences during her lifetime. 1918. And the first woman who became what? Um, hmm. Feels like it's something that would be. I mean, it sounds, I, to me, the way it's worded, it makes it sound like she became something until <clears throat> so she right, was still. Yeah. She was a still lot. something after no, she right. became she was, whatever yeah. it was. In Ninth other words, she didn't become dead. Yeah, that's what I agree. Yeah, she didn't get killed. Yeah, the wording is just like she became. Right. I'm. I'm gonna go with some. Uh, get some uh, official position. You know, prime yes. minister, member of parliament, or whatever. And it was just yeah. two years after she was a sniper in the Easter Rebellion. Maybe she was a. a you know, a marks marksmanship instructor. That's so big. I mean, why would we have known that? It's kind yeah. of something big, like prime minister, not, not like a. Um, what other positions did she the, have? In charge of the trash collecting people, or I mean, it's got to be something. <laughs> got to be something. Yeah, the cabinet stupid. position in the. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't say cabinet position. It would be. Became mm. the first woman who became a was there an Irish prime minister? Yeah. Is prime minister a thing? Well, when, when did when did Ireland get its independence from? You know? Oh, they declared their independence in 1916. And then they had to keep fighting for it. Yes. So in 1918, could they have had a female prime minister, Caspian? I do not believe so. No, I think that would have been. Cosgrave. Could she be in a general? And because 1918 is whenever, you know, that's full on when when World War One is going on. Uh, I yeah, it was okay. kind of over then by that time. Well, she could still have been a general. Well, yeah, it's true. It's the end of 1918 is so, so maybe, is the... maybe she's in charge of um reconstruction of Ireland. Oh, no, I don't Ireland didn't need reconstruction. Pilot, maybe? Ooh. Became the Member first of Parliament? One became... Cabinet minister? Uh, she would have said, what? oh, what? Oh, she was, was a there minister, something... minister of uh, cooking. Oh, yeah, right. 
Was there were there positions to which you could be appointed and not need to be elected? Cabinet ministers. Yeah. Those are all appointed. Yeah. Okay. Maybe she became a general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like cabinet minister, up. maybe. I, you know, the generals. I don't know. It's just, I'm just throwing it in the dark and, or just, you know, mm -hmm. throwing it out there. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. This uh, this is going to be my last category for tonight. I can't. We're losing can't. Vincent. He's yeah. Like, oh. Well, I'm glad to. I'm glad I was able to hang out with you a little bit. You know? Oh, thank you. I'm on the I'm on the go from room to room kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I've been uh, I've been doing uh, daily walks ever since the surgeon said oh well because i was so fat it made his job a lot harder to Ooh. remove well, uh, you're lucky you got to have that surgery i think was i i don't know i i elected to have it it was an elected right. surgery it, so. you had to do it so where do no, you walk I isn't to. it kind of a inclement weather for walking where you oh, are not to canadians they think that's like a oh, what do you mean in, what what do you mean by inclement weather like anything what, under 45 degrees <laughs> what's that in canadian? what would what would that be in celsius oh god <laughs> uh we don't no do idea. math here in the united states Ask especially adrian, not that math adrian how cold what we were just teasing Vincent about how much of a close the breakout runs first. Oh, but we haven't gotten 10. We started talking about Vincent. Uh <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I'm, so, I'm I'm voting for prime minister or general. Is uh f what would 45 degrees Fahrenheit be in Celsius? Uh, uh four, about, yeah. What? How much? Four or five? Four or five, yeah. Anything really? below ten, anything below ten Celsius, we don't go outside. <laughs> it was, uh, it was. Um, You're still wearing shorts in that weather. It was. I so know. Around, yep. It was around that, and I Her. was out there walking and everything. It was wonderful seven, because seven degrees, so I was close. Yeah. Seven. Oh, geez, it was colder than that, and I was still walking out there. So seven is balmy. Uh, no. Oh, hello. yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. Wow. You need to come up with 10. Okay. I'm thinking it's going to be something big. Uh, so I'm thinking uh, prime minister, member of parliament, cabinet minister. I'm not going to, I don't think uh, general because you have to work your way up on. In most Could we cases. say member of the government? Member of a uh, cabinet minister. No, I think cabinet say minister. A, Let's elected go. Elected to office, uh, elected to. Like to, oh, no, it would have to be appointed, I think. Cabinet ministers are appointed. Became uh, the first woman usually. who became a, a cabinet point. minister. You really think a cabinet minister? Huh? You would know that? Well, we wouldn't. It's called trivia. I know, but that's way <laughs> too granular. Right. Right. Adrian well, wouldn't expect we would know a cabinet minister in Ireland <laughs> anywhere. Who's keeping score? Not I. I have them written down. Maybe it's use uh, collection of useless information. Okay, Caspian, <laughs> you're sure she wouldn't have been the the prime minister? I'm sure she would not have been the prime minister. Okay, okay. so what's below a prime minister? That would... members of parliament or okay, cabinet member minister. Are are cabinet ministers and cab and are they both elected or are they both no. appointed? Members Depends of in the country. Members in of Ireland. parliament are elected. Cabinet ministers are appointed by the prime minister. Okay, so we can't That's say in the country to cover both. Okay. I don't, All right, I don't we have 24 remember. seconds. So okay, cabinet decide. minister. I'm writing down cabinet minister okay. on my piece of paper. <laughs> okay, Deborah's got it. Cabinet minister. She's made a decision. Well, everything else is elected or yeah. you have to be promoted from within. So yeah. it sounds like he would be a she would have been a appointed. That makes more sense. Yeah. All right, good job, yeah. team. All right.
I keep hearing this voice saying "boarding in progress" or something it's like. Great in progress. It's your. You've been hearing voices long. Huh? <laughs> You've been hearing voices for long. Um, well, you had surgery for that. I hear many voices now. <laughs> yeah. I hear it won't stop. almost as many as twenty here. All right, everybody's voices are going to stop for a second. That was really fun. You're going to hear my. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I liked it. It was fun. So the first one, I think most people got from what I could see. And the answer of the man who shot the man who shot the man who shot Jesse James was oh. a girl. Oh, oh no. look at Billy the Kid. Oh, oh no. Oh, you guys, I could have gotten that one. I could have asked my husband, but you guys seemed so um, sure about Billy the Kid. But oh, was but, sorry, I just realized that I sent it just to Karen. So, oh, God, so, only, so only Karen's team gets a All point? Right. Only oh, we God. get a point, Alan. You only are correct. Karen's team, yep. That was Ron. She's, there's favorites oh, going on here, I guess. <laughs> we look alike, yes, I know. No, no I could just hear. Jesse James. <laughs> So the next one, I don't know if anybody got this. It's interesting. We'll see. I'm going to be fairly loose on this. Essentially, the president was assassinated. So if you said president assassinated, to be specific, a plane carrying the Rwandan president, mm. Habi Eramana, who was Hutu, was shot down. And the president had agreed to a peace agreement between the Tutsi and the Hutu. And apparently people on both sides were not happy that he had agreed to this peace agreement. So nobody to this day knows which side shot him down. So we have the murder of aircraft a crash. Aircraft Done. crash. That's fine. As long as we, we, we have murder of a Hutu chieftain. The chieftain is some, sort of like a president. Yeah, but this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Oh, Other well. Convenient, but it was the president of the country. Not our night. Oh, well. All right. And the next one was thalidomide. And I think most people got that. And to quote Fell, listen to the fucking science. There <laughs> Here's your swear word. There it is. <laughs> and uh, B is quit India. There oh. you go. It's not weird, very poetic. Huh? It's not very poetic at all. Caspian knew that one too. Nice. He knows his history. And I think everybody got Gandhi this. Gandhi didn't na name his own speeches. He just, it was somebody else who said that was what it was all about. Right. And that's what it's known as, apparently. Okay. Next one was, I think everyone got, Hedy Lamar. It's Hedley. 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 Oh. <laughs> and there was a debate about this. Blazing Saddle. Uh, <laughs> I thought this one was very interesting. People debated this one, and it was actually quite straightforward. It was General Winston. Oh uh, uh, no, that's not the one. Oh, sorry, that's number six. I'm ahead of myself. So number six is Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. I think most people got that one. It, the next one was the one. Number seven was the one that there were lots of uh, debate about, and it's General George Washington. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Uh, wait, wait. What were the right, other you're people right. that picked? It's they so were serious. Everyone thought it was too obvious and they talked themselves out of it. Except for really? my, except my I talked dad. the whole team out of it. <laughs> oh, that was he had a huge spy network and it was I don't it's know. Oh, I, I didn't even think I didn't know there would be anybody else you would have picked. I'm not putting the numbers. I apologize. I'll do that again if I if you need me to. But number eight is selling arms to Iran illegally against an official embargo, then giving the money illegally to the Contras in Nicaragua. And it's called the Iran-Contra scandal. So as long as you have something about that, then I'm happy. You're happy. You're easily happy, Adrian. There's the whole Oliver North thing. Yeah, it yeah. is. The whole Oliver North thing. So if you wrote the whole Oliver North thing... I and Bush should have both been impeached. But again, it's money laundering. It happens at every level of government. Be vigilant, mm. people. Wait, what are we supposed to do? You're supposed to demand uh, financial accountability of all your elected officials at every level. All right. Now and that if you see like anyone thing. walking out of Congress with a bag of money and a bunch of detergent, 
<laughs> like a, them. like a big bag that says money <laughs> like like or, a, and, or, and, gold, and a, and a, and a jug bars, of detergent gold bars you all done and shoot them gold bars stored in their fri freezers <laughs> and work for that, old, that, that for only campaign, happens in new jersey campaign uh, uh for election uh reform and campaign uh, donation limitations there you go see she's there we go. practical now, number nine, I think everybody got this one. It is uh, Jules Verne's Around the World in 80 Dates. She completed the journey in 72 days. And apparently there was somebody who wasn't very happy that a woman had done this. So a few months later, it was this record was broken by a man. Ugh. I know. But then we have kick-ass countess, countess. Yeah, we had a lot of trouble with this one. <laughs> and you talked yourself, you were so close. You were so close. Number 10, and some people did get this. She was elected to the UK House of Parliament. She was the first woman to be elected as, as an MP for the Dublin St. Patrick. So if she said she was elected to government, I'd take that. But the key words are elected, MP. First woman. Well, I already said first woman. So, and she won sixty six percent of the vote. She I was just, very popular. She, well, yeah. I mean, think about it. She shot Britons. She shot shot the British. I think people liked her for that. And she was yeah, a, she was a good shot. They loved it. A, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of respect there. Yeah, yeah. She was amazing. And uh, MP and doesn't she, stand for military police, right? It did not, <laughs> not in this case. Not in this case, yeah. <laughs> and if we reversed it and said that she was a PM, that's not the same thing, right? No, yeah. you're, just, you're, you're dyslexic. It's, it's okay. <laughs> if you want to be a PM, it would have been a better story. <laughs> it would have been a better story, but I think that would have been a real reach for a woman to do in in that time. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's a member of parliament. If you want, if if you said member of parliament, elected to a, a member of parliament, elected to government, that would be fine. Almost. Yeah, you you we guys came all very close. It. Yeah, James is basically right on with it. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Appointed queen. Appointed queen. <laughs> queen of Ireland. You know what? Yeah. To be honest, I think she would have made a pretty awesome queen. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> now tell us whose birthdays everybody's for. Oh, yeah. So the birthdays, whoops, uh, where did I put that? Because I know we got some January birthdays coming up. Yeah, I want to know who we're singing to. So I, I, I don't want people to forget to tell me their birthday. Oh, oh here it is. Okay. To try to get out of it. I'll try and go in order, but I probably won't. April 3rd was Vincent. April 6th was Lee. August 7th was me, August, Susan, August 11th is Carl, August 19th is Ben. He's saying happy August. birthday. We could start a tradition of. Yeah. September 10th is Gail. Um, November 6th is Karen. And November 14th is Leonard. I think I got them all there. They're sort of we all have to say his name is that like that? Leonard. <laughs> November 14th is also mine. Oh. oh cool. Leonard and I share a birthday, except for all 10 years apart. Well, there you right. go. So it was both of you. So that's how, how I came up that? with the page. You I mean, had two just questions. Said it randomly, but this was more fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was well, interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go. I can barely keep my eyes open. So. All right. Well, we I went to try to see you. Bye -bye. Happy, happy New Year. So. Yeah. Happy New Year. Oh, happy, happy New Year. Year. Canada? You happy New Year. Yeah, they have they have New Year's in Canada. Yes. They, follow, they follow the same calendar. Uh, but, but Ryan, it's, a it's, it's a metric calendar. It's a metric calendar. The calendar is metric, so the years are a little shorter. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm hitting, more I'm hitting my uh, my end for the night well, too. So I'm I'm bugging out people. Everyone have a great New Year. Even the Happy people. Happy New Year, Rob. Bye, Rob. Rob, Happy we were coming back. back. Come on, Bye we were coming that. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Karen wants us to sing uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Old Lang Syne. It's yeah. Old Lang Syne. Oh, we we yeah. already destroyed the birthday song. And my brother's yeah. birthday is right in the middle of the next two weeks, so he gets to get sung to twice. Wow. Um, He's on the 8th. Of January? Yep. Well, that would be next week, right? 
Well, it's yeah. just like and it's in the middle of the two wait, weeks. Wait, wait, wait. So when's the, it's, oh, New Year's is this week then. All right, hang on. Uh, you're, you're before we before we close, then I have something I got to play then. But, well, I we play it every year. Too. Your birthday is two days before scores. Could we sing the scores? That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Peggy. <laughs> for punishment. <laughs> All right, let's do scores. My goodness, you guys. You take all the fun out of everything. You actually want to play the game with scores? Should all the scores be forgot and leave? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, oh, nine. It's all the answers <laughs> forgotten. Okay, I gave you Robin. Zoom emoji unicorn <laughs> madness. What did you get? We apologize, Robin, but uh, we got a six. Well, there you go. Huge improvement. We're wow, charging. I'm up impressed. There. Okay, Huge auto crack can kiss my asp. Uh, was that us? We had eight. Oh, six, eight. seven, eight. Miss you, Tommy. Mom always liked you best. We got seven. Ooh, this must have been a tough, a, a tough kind of thing. I guess a lot more than you would have thought. Okay, so that leaves during the between solstice and New Year's. If it's trivia, it must be Thursday. That's Chadway. We got nine. And the <laughs> one that we missed was one that the team had right. I talked them out of the answer, and it was the one on my birthday. Oh, oh. For, for reals. Interesting. Okay, and then that leaves us the last but not least. Team two took our names, and mom always liked team two best. Ten. Oh wow! Oh, gee, snotty. They must be cheating. I know <laughs> that must be. You know, there's a commonality. Carl's uh, on this team's this team that wins a lot. I have a well, feeling. Carl and that. Alan together is. Uh, I yeah. Carl and Alan. Alan and Bill. Bill, I can just kind of Bill. sit back and post. I <laughs> think with Alan yeah, Bill, definitely Bill. I think yeah, what Bill. happens is one of them has Alexa on, and so when they say the question oh. out loud, they're <laughs> muted. But what's <laughs> happening is Alexa's answering them. You're found. Uh, no, you're found. they're not doing that. Well, you should have heard us arguing about whether it was Washington or Benedict Arnold. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think it's it was Benedict getting a little heated. Yeah, because you had Benedict Arnold. I was wrong. I was oh. wrong. I'll admit it. Yeah. No, we, we did that to Lee. Lee, we did the same thing. Yeah, we did the same so thing. We had we had Washington, and I talked them out of it because I said that's too obvious. But yeah. we agreed. We, yeah. we all agreed to it. No, we agreed it was too obvious, and we were all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the right. argument that I had was that in the history class one time, a teacher said, "When you're studying for um, Revolutionary War history, if in doubt, say George Washington." That's <laughs> 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 true. Unless, unless it's about the guy who surrendered to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peggy, you set. We're ready. All right, we got a mystery category tonight, guys. Oh, oh, are we in trouble? Probably. Well, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. We can do it. Where are we? We can do these. Okay. So number one is. Oh, wait. Paste before you hit. Number one is a Porsche SUV model. Okay. Should I mute people? Do people want to be muted or? I don't want to be muted. Oh. All right, then oh, shut the fuck up then. <laughs> yes, <Dolph>. James. <laughs> That's me, James Fell. <laughs> Number two is Barbara Bain's character's name on Mission Impossible. Um, um, um. Oh, someone's got the music going. I like it. Just have a hard time doing the copy chat. Number three is the portrayer of Dr. Frankenfurter in the film version of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm -hmm. Where are you here? Number four is uh, 
an Academy Award-winning actress famed for her dance numbers, but also appeared in non-dance movies like Stage Door in 1937 and Bachelor Mother in 1939. She was a professed Christian scientist and has a theater named for her in Medford, Oregon. Number five. Number five is an ancient weapon developed in the upper Paleolithic times by adding sharp spikes to a club. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I got it. All right. Okay, <laughs> hey, shut up or, or mute. <laughs> hmm. I suppose I have powers, huh? I could mute them, huh? You could. Yeah. Go for it. I gotta find my powers here. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Breakout rooms. Am I breaking? No, I'm not doing breakout rooms. Remind me where it's the other participants. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are our participants? We we it's tell you, but we're muted. The breakout rooms. <laughs> we can tell you, but we're muted. Psych. Yes, there you go. Now you look better. I'm just going to mute myself. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. That's the problem with that damn mute button. It doesn't have a permanent mute on it. Well, Kyle knows how to do it, but we don't want to tell him. I get muted for some reason. <laughs> you know, I would say number six, colorful suspect character in a popular murder mystery. Uh, I can't remember if I, I think I put it in, but didn't read it. I got too sidetracked there, guys. Number seven is going to be, this is an English food writer, TV cook, critic, and author who wrote How to Be a Domestic Goddess. Number eight is... A Stan Lee created character who debuted in 1963 in Tales of Suspense and worked for one of the Avengers. I should put more of these in at once, maybe, but it's too late now. Number nine, color of robe traditionally worn by Hindu sages and saints. And finally, number 10 is copy, paste. The all-time best-selling girl group in music history. Any questions before we send you all to your little rooms? Little rooms? Well, they don't look big on my screen. <laughs> okay. Let's go. You... Where's my breakout rooms? <laughs> my breakout rooms is gone. Somebody take away my powers. How could they, they can't take away my powers.
So nine, uh, nine, I don't they wear yellow. So is there something that would be spicy yellow? Mustard. Mustard I, I, color. I was yeah, thinking mustard. that's mustard also there. I don't see any reason why we can't have two oh, we mustards. Have, we have kernel mustard. Well, there's no law that says you can't have two of them. Yeah. Yeah, they there's so much yellow that they wear in Hindu. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Number three is Tim Curry. Ah, there we go. Thank you. So this is going to have something to do with uh, spices, I think, Spi right? It, yeah, they're all spices. Yeah, they're all spices. I try to remember what, who, who Barbara. Wow, was. the Spice Girls are the best uh, selling girl group in music history, really? Well, it goes with the theme. Yeah, yeah I can't think of lot. another. another I, the only one I was thinking was Salt and Pepper, but I don't think Bad it's. Bad Hot uh, Peppers. But that I wasn't, a, but that's not a girl that, group. That's not a girl group. So I'm going to ask my husband one of these. It just seems like six, uh, six I thought of Abba, but Abba was not a girl group. Oh, okay. No, didn't she play um, Peel? Um, or no, that was the real person, I think. Are you talking about uh, the Avenger woman? The... No, I, I was up on number two with the Mission Impossible. Barbara Bain. Didn't wasn't her name Peel? Or am I thinking of the wrong show? Yeah, the Avengers was was Peel, so that's the wrong show. Mission Impossible. I don't know. Oh, you're right. That's Avengers. You're right. Yell at Mark. Let me see if he knows. Let me yell. Mission Impossible. This this woman with can hear me a theater named it for her in Medford, Oregon. Yeah, that's up by you. I know, but I was like, how would I know theaters in Medford, Oregon? I'm trying to think of would. Some something spicy, has to do with the spice. Some I'm kind of spicy out. theater in Medford. I have no idea. Academy War award winning actress famed for da dance numbers. How about um the one that used to be with the stair? What was her name? Ginger Rogers. Ginger Ginger. 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 Oh, only right, yeah. a ginger can call ginger. another ginger ginger. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know she was a Christian scientist. Was that for Oops, two? Wrong, or wrong one. Sorry, four. Eric. That, well, I was rounding Eric. Four, four. So there's a is there a ginger Rogers? Um there is now no, ginger is a spice. Theater yes, well, in, we got uh, that part. Medford, Oregon. Janine. I have no idea. I've never heard of this before. And number not five, I put cat or nine. It's no, it's mace. A, mace. A, ma a mace is a ball with spikes on it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. What about seven? No idea. English food writer. I only know that French woman. Domestic goddess. What was the French lady's name? Julia, Julia Child. Child. Oh, yeah, Julia no, Child. neither of those are spices. Well, she isn't French either. So. She's not. Yeah. Well, it says English food writer. Well, she could be an English woman who's a food writer. Yeah. But Julia it's Child doesn't fit Oh, the it theme. could be. Oh, you're right. It could say that she just wrote about English food, or she could be an English woman who wrote, who about, wrote about food. food yeah. Well, uh, not she's, this would be this would be an English woman, the way it's written. I yeah. think so. That was my interpretation. But like we know a whole bunch. Who do you guys know? Robin would probably know. She knows these kinds of cook things. Yeah, Robin. Robin. Come on. I, I don't know how to be a domestic goddess. So what what was the Julia Child is not a spice, let's say. Right. Yeah. But that's um, the only female author cook I know. Well, hang on. Let's go through some spices. Oh, well, Betty, Betty. Oh, Betty nice the protein. I don't know. Okay, Pepper. English food writer, TV cook. How to be a domestic goddess. Is that the only one we're missing? Or do we know the Stanley character? No, we, we're missing two, no. seven, and eight. So is somebody a Pepper? Well, Pepper makes sense for the Barbara Baines character. I was thinking that's more the Stan Lee character, but I don't know. 
It does sound like a character. That's why. Well, we can put Pepper in for any one that we don't have an answer for by the okay. end. Another for whatever story. reason, I'm thinking there was a character who was not one of the main ones, but her name was Pepper Pot. That sounds familiar. That sounds very familiar. Yeah, and I'm thinking it's it's one of the minor characters that was on in the Marvel series, which is Stan Lee. Yeah. And it's the best guess I have at the moment. That's a good one. So what salt. Are spice those? Can you think of salt being used somewhere here? Well, these are all hot. Like curry, ginger, mace, mustard. Cayenne, salt. yes. Nutmeg. Mm. Um, what other spices are there? Turmeric. Um, Chili. There's no such thing as a spice named after me. Um. I'm trying to think what, because we have a pretty stock spice cupboard. What else is there? Clove, cloves. Um, for the for number seven, could it be rosemary? Somebody. I got to go into room two for a second. Here, hold on a second. Um, I like rosemary, but I think we probably need to know the other name. It is. I I I, it is, I know a lot of said who wrote that. Stop book. talking. I'm trying to find Peggy. Is Peggy here? No. No. Nope. Okay. I don't, I'm leaving the room. I'm not looking at anything. Uh, leave breakout room. I'm looking for you. Okay. I think I know what happened. My powers disappeared on me, and I didn't know why. I thought somebody was goofing around, and it dawns on me. You're muted now. I, I didn't know. have any powers and I can only go between the main room and, and room two. Okay, I fixed it. What I think it happened is when I assigned you your co-powers, I think I gave you full powers. And then whenever I realized I didn't have any powers, I un gave myself full powers. So go, go. You're free. I think that's what happened. Now that explains it. So you stole my powers from me. Well, I gave you the Damn full it. hosting powers <laughs> and then I took it back and that's probably what happened. Oh. I just saw your message. Okay, you're free. Go. Feeling she will, but well, it could be maybe it maybe it's a writer who went by one name. Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemary. Nobody would be a food writer whose name is Rosemary. <laughs> That's silly. Well, then maybe it's the answer to number two. Just going through some spices and thinking. Yeah, I'm just character. turmeric, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, thyme, oregano, parsley, sage. Yeah, those are kind of different kinds of okay. than the, than the hot spicy ones, though. Yeah, I'm just going on just being spices, but okay. and it could be a last name. Yeah. Could be. So, you know, Mary Clove. Yeah. Um, I know the I know the domestic goddess book is gonna make me do a because I I just can't think of it. Well then put down Hetty Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody's blank clove. Could be. I just I, I watched the old Mission Impossible, so I can't remember Barbara Bain's character. Miss Clove. Mark, Mark can't remember it. He says, Oh yeah. I said, Do you know Mission Impossible, Barbara Baines? And he goes, Oh yeah. I said, What was this her name? And he says, uh Crystal. I said, No, it's gotta be some kind of spice. He goes, Okay, I don't know. So meth isn't a spice, is it? <laughs> crystal <laughs> meth. <laughs> is there a spice that sounds like crystal? That might have been what he was thinking of. Well, crystal could be her first name, and then the spice could be her last name. Oh, that's true. Crystal clove. Uh, we'll go with crystal clove until we come up with something better. 
I don't think we're in danger of winning this thing tonight. So <laughs> it'd be it's nice to not be the bottom of every of every round. <laughs> hey, we have to be known for something. We can get the most honest team ward. <laughs> well, we seem it's to be winning that every week, Rob. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The problem is having those two brothers together. I, know, right. I can't, I together can't remember together. the last time I was on the winning team. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. That was, that was fun. good. Yeah. Tasty. All right, you guys. <laughs> you are for your slideshow. Yay. We must have our slideshow. Okay. You know, number one, I think some of you knew this the cayenne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, do you put these together while you're working, or is it just it, 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 it's like, Back off, everybody. I got to come up with a slideshow at work. Yeah, I just charged the public for my doing all these at work. I feared that. I oh, thank it. you. Thank you. The listen, for good. the listening audience, that is humor and sarcasm. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be used at my trial to take <laughs> my pension. And since I'm a county you. resident, I figure she's working for me either way. Yeah, I there you go. On she's Saturday keeping morning. You entertained on Thursday night. Um, number two is Cinnamon Carter Crawford. Oh, oh we, were close. we oh, weren't no. even name close at sufficient. all. Cinnamon. I'm going to change Jackie's name. That is really cool. That is, that is, wow. Number three. Tim anybody, my, I mean, some people aren't into that movie, but. Oh, yes, hell yes. no. Yes. Everybody's Yay. into it. It's such a great movie. Oh. Yeah, I think every four oh, is Ginger. Ginger Rogers. Oh, good. I had oh. no idea she was a, um. Uh, Backwards and in high heels. Yeah, yep. yeah. No idea. She's a Christian scientist. I don't know for sure, but it was in her bio. So, hey, if <laughs> Wikipedia said it was. Wow. So, some of you were not aware that mace is a spice, but mace is a spice, and it is the outside of the nutmeg. Oh, yep. I didn't know that. for something else. Well, we went with our logic that mace is a form of pepper spray, and pepper is. <laughs> <laughs> that if works. You said mace, as you long as you get the right answer. Yeah. Colonel Mustard, that was probably the easiest one on there. Nigella Lawson, Nigella Seed is a spice. No, never oh, heard of her. No. I've heard yeah, of her. I didn't know that was a spice. Yeah, we well did done, it. Yeah. We I wouldn't have again. gotten that one in a million years. We were trying to do uh, 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 rosemary. Look, so. you use it in curries and lentil dishes. Mm. Oh. We just knew Nigella was badass, so. That's yeah, she was Nigella. Pepper Potts for all of you. Okay, close fans. enough. You That's know, we it. said that yeah. word, just not at that part. <laughs> I'd take just pepper. Just pepper, but pots. Do we get two points for Pepper Potts? <laughs> no. Uh, it, it, it's worth asking. And we have a oh, thing for alliteration. What's going on with her chest area? Look at that here. amazing waist and that weird side boob. Yeah, I just love that comic book. Oh, Saffron. <laughs> Saffron is the orange color that is used. Oh, we said from... mustard. Well, that was the right answer for a different category. Yeah, we thought it'd be twice. Got that one too. I am very surprised it was Space Spice Girls. Yeah, so how does this relate to the rest of the answers? <laughs> They're spices. <laughs> Colors of the world, spice of your life. How could they have been the number one girls? That's amazing. There aren't a lot of girls on, no how many... on CD. And I saw their movie. Name other girl groups, Susan. Oh, well, the, well, the Winella. Salt and Pepper. Run away. The, the well, chick. Taylor Swift the gets Chiffons. a five. Bengals. Taylor Swift Bengals, was not part yeah. of the girl group. She ate everyone else. <laughs> oh. I thought this was a wonderful category. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Really fun. I thought it was too easy, but when I went to the groups, I thought, well, you know, I knew Nigella would be hard because that's. Hi, Jamie. She's in. Not in my spice. Actually, the hardest part about Nigella is I was like, I was sure this was Nigella Lawson, but I didn't know that was a spice. But yeah. we're like, yeah. forget it. We're just going to write it anyway and we'll be wrong. Because, <laughs> like, yeah. well, come on, oh, I'm I'm a garden that. can't be the domestic goddess. It's Nigella. I, I so, don't have it in my cupboard either. Did anybody so, know that Nigella is an, a spice? I did not. 
-hmm. We did we not did know not. it, but we took a wild guess. So I'm gonna go buy we some. Just assumed it must be. We didn't know. Place. Yeah, but it wasn't gonna be Lawson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, nobody, and nobody's name is Rosemary, who's a cook, right? And so, by the way, Actually, uh, there's some light Lawson savory uh steak steak spice spices. Thinking of Lowry's. Oh, there's yeah. a that, there's that a was our guess. Too. Rosemary uh, S, baby. That's what our team put. <laughs> Rosemary S, period, baby. <laughs> Baby is not a spice. You can't use it in food. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. How do you think we make our whole infant tender and oh, mild at Christmas? According to many rosemary. people, baby is a food. Yeah. yeah. It's not a spice. That's, baby. That's, That's how you Jay. make your holy infant tender and mild is you use a shit ton of rosemary. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are awful. And before we go to score, just so everybody knows on my team, team three, uh, Caspian texted me immediately when we got back because we got cut off and he, he gave me a correct answer. So the score will be one more than. Whoa, Jamie did it. Huh? He's <laughs> pointing to Jamie. Yeah. Pointing to her. Well, oh, Caspian. Okay. Yeah, Jamie did it. Yeah. she got Which right one up. was it? Number eight, Pepper Potts. Okay. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to do uh, I like that. Uh, scores. Who first? Um, team four. Zoom emoji madness. That's ruining our score. We got a seven. Seven. Well, well done, wow. team. Crawling up. Growing on up. Autocrack can kiss my ass. Seven as well. The pattern says it should be a nine. I know we broke. Why, okay, we wish nine. Well, okay, oh, nine. We'll do nine. Uh, <laughs> Miss, it's because Vincent's not there. That's why. That's why. Yeah. yeah that Miss is. you, that Tommy. Mom always liked you best. We got the nine. We got the nine. Yeah. Wow. wow. Wait, Susan. Pretty please with sugar on top. Say our name. Say my name. <laughs> All right, doing the internum between solstice and New Year's. If it's trivia, it must be Thursday. Yes, Ken. I love you. Well done, spice lovers. <laughs> and Team Two took our name, so Mom always liked Team Two best. Ken. Oh, good job. Wow, Z -Z. Wow, that's why Mom likes us best because. Y'all are just like too good at everything. We have to have extra support from mom. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, it's kind of a comp comp or a consolation prize. But we've got the pet chicken. That's true. So who's got the chicken? Well, Carl's next, and he's got he's going to do a bonus, and that I don't know. It's kind of ominous. What is he, he's in profile, and so is the thing behind him is in profile. So I'm kind of worried. That would be the Death Star, Susan. Dun, dun, dun. Well, they're both in profile. Well, or it's the moon Mimas around Saturn. That 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 small moon, that's no moon. Well, well actually, it is a moon. So, name the 10 largest moons in the solar system by size in any order. Uh, by oh. size, I mean by radius or diameter, although by mass, mass will produce the same... Top ten list. So, are you saying size counts for for <laughs> moons in this category? <laughs> and it's not in chat. I don't see it. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. I see it's a for baby. you. Yeah, I don't see it either. It's weird. I saw it when it came up. I it's saw it for a second. And now it's gone. It. It's still there. It's still there. I've got it. I'm sorry, well, but that's not there. Because, no, uh, I don't have it. I'm going to close it and restart it. it. If, if, if we have the problem that occasionally happens with differing versions of Zoom, sometimes when someone posts something, for some uh. people, it appears like at the top instead of at the bottom. Okay. Oh, or somebody yeah. could just repost it. I don't see it. What, what about that? Now they're there. Thank you. Do we have to do 20 of them now that we see it twice? 
No. <laughs> I only see it once. You can name the only same. S- you, you can make the same list twice. Uh, Do you want a bet? better match? <laughs> all right. Breakout rooms. Open all rooms. Boom. Okay. Um, I don't know, and I can't help. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. (laughs) And Bill will be carrying the team for this. We need Carl. (laughs) We need Carl. We know some moons. Okay, good. Name a moon. (laughs) Bill's moon. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, Susan, let me think. I'm thinking. We used to have these big posters all over our house that had all these moons in them. Lee knows them. Lee, unmute yourself and give us the answers. Yeah, well, I don't know what took forever to get in here. Uh, Gamma Mead. Wait, wait, somebody uh, writing them down. Wait, quick. Yeah, Can just a second. Wait. Okay, got it. Gamma mean IO Titan. IO, IO, yeah. Yeah, IO right. Titan. Titan's a really Luna. good Or our moon. Lunar, yeah, whatever yeah. you want to call it. Oh, California declined to kick Trump off the ballot. Um what? What what do we have now? God, what are some of the other ones? Um Oberon in Iapetus. What was that Callisto, last one? Callisto. Um, Callisto. Callisto's not a moon. Oh. It's an asteroid. What? It's, it's, a, it's a minor planet. Callisto is a moon of Jupiter. Yes, it is. There's another sea. Um... Okay, we have Io, Titan, Ganymede, Moon, obviously. Um, Europa. Oh, Europa, that's a good one. I only know them once they've been named that they are. Do we yeah, have they sound them? familiar. That's passive. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't I can't come up with them though. Wait, you said Triton. Oh. What about Titan? Yeah, so, Titan I'm sorry. What? Okay. So what? Ganymede, said, Titan. I thought Calico, you said Titan. Uh, and then you said Triton. So is it Triton? Triton. They're Triton. both. They're both. Yeah. I'm trying to think. There's other Jupiter moons that are monsters. Um, I have um, eight. Um. Titania. Write these down. Say that again, Bill. Titania. Titan IA. As in the Queen of the Fairies. Oh, Titania. We have nine. We have nine? We have Wow, nine. that's amazing. Uh hey, rattle off what nine you have, because I okay. Io or moon. Gamma mean. Io. Oh, Gamamede. That's what I didn't write down. Okay. Ganymede. Gamamede. Gamamede. Io. A n y m e d e. That's what Ganymede. I have. Ganymede. Gam. Gamamede. Ganymede. 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 All right. Doesn't Ganymede. matter. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Titan. After Ganymede. Take the point, Jane. <laughs> Io. Ti- Triton. Our moon. 
Oberon, Callisto, Europa, Titan, Titania. Titania? Titania. Rule Titania, uh, Titania I, rule I, 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 I don't know what that is, but la, okay. La, 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 On that building. La, 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 la. Yeah, they've got Oberon and Titania. Uh, moons of Neptune, I think. Yeah. It's a small yeah. It's a breakout group. There's also... Hi, Mark. Hey. <laughs> How's everybody? Good, how are you? Hi, Good. Mark. Hey. You're going to see Jane and Wendy next week. Oh, good. And Congratulations Lee. on bingo. Oh, I know. You, I'm so proud. <laughs> I've been playing that game for 30 years, you know? It's like, I can't I can't be part of that because it's just, to me, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Cold, I, he won cold reading bingo. Cold reading, once you understand it, it's just, you just listen and you hear it. And that, so it's really not fair for me to play that. So I got to tell you what the cat just did. I was in the living room uh -huh. and I see this ping pong ball go across the floor and the cat comes walking Which in. Which one? And, uh, uh, Hamilton. Uh -huh. The floor you walk on. Over the floor a, walk a, on. A wooden floor and I see this skittering ping pong ball go by and then he comes in and he's like, now. <laughs> freaks me out. Our cats don't play with toys. They never anyway, play with have toys. Fun, guys. I heard you in there saying, You're such a good boy. Let me give you a treat. Well, so, Wendy, how many do we have now? We have nine. I'm all for it. I think how about Rhea? R H E A. He put his paw on it and I will write that down. Nine. Are they out of that room? R H E A. Rhea. That's 10. Thank you. If anybody thinks of any more, please say them and then we can decide if we want to cut any that have already been put on the list. I can't I can't I think, think of any. I think we got a pretty good list. I uh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm okay with the list that you guys came up with. <laughs> If if we've got ten moons on here, <laughs> that's that's great. Large or not, I don't really care at this point. How about gr green cheese? Uh, no, I don't think that's really one. No, that's supposedly what our moon is made of. Oh, yeah. Don't you remember that when you were a child? Your cheese, yeah. Made of not the green cheese, made but just green cheese. cheese. Made of cheese? Green cheese. I'd never heard of being green cheese. Well, when I was a kid, you know, there was the man's face in the moon that you could man see. The yeah. The man in the moon, yeah. <laughs> he says it like yeah. And, and in yeah. Uh, <laughs> Australia, you, you see it upside down so it looks like a woman. <laughs> What? <laughs> the face is upside down? And it looks well, like a woman? How would it look yeah, like? Haven't you ever seen Wallace and Gromit? And their yeah. trip to the moon? Yeah. I mean, it's a classic. Okay. You insist. A classic? Huh? Well, I my my grandchildren used to watch it on TV on TV. It yeah. was children's cartoons. And um and it was with the uh, all British actors, voices, uh, English accent, I think. Yeah, well, we know and... a grand day out when he when they build a rocket ship and fly to the moon because he wants to do a cheese vacation. I don't <laughs> oh, you've got it. It's it's it, it is a classic. You have to see it. It's called a grand day out, and it's just so well done. And it's Gromit. Uh, and... Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit. I've heard of it, but Wallace I that, and that in the wrong trousers. Yes. Well, that's yeah. That's the second. Oh, it's a nineteen eighty nine film. A, that a says. grand, a grand day out, and heck, it's probably on Netflix or something. Yep, it's uh, Wallace and Gromit, a grand day out. Yeah. Uh, nineteen eighty nine. Yep. 
it's but here are my list of things to look into. It is just it's just fun. Much I better than much better than llamas with hats. <gasps> which I will which I will never forgive you for. <laughs> you just wonder... have to know it. I didn't it's like you have to know of rom llamas with hats. It's not like it's it's a good oh. thing. It's just you must, as a person yeah. who raises llamas, hey, must go of it. Let's go so watch it when you can say, I now. know of llamas with hats. Done. Now, I'm going to tease you about that one forever. <laughs> llamas with hats. You guys have all seen it, right? No. What? Like not have doing it. Charlie the Unicorn stuff. Oh, okay. We're back. We're recording. Some of us why. are. I come back and it doesn't. I, I'm always on mute. That's so weird. And it's host, because the host point uh, uh, muted everybody. It remembers um, that. And when we come back, we we get muted. No, I think it just comes back. I always am muted. When I go into the breakout <laughs> rooms, I'm muted. I'm always muted. Hey, Susan. It's a conspiracy, Susan. Yes, Alan. Uh, uh, bef we'll get the we'll get the the answers now. Before you give the final scores, can I share my annual? Uh, I have a video that I share every this time every year. Oh, I put it up on Facebook a couple of days ago. Did you see all the comments I got on it? Which one was that? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, not the one I just put up. Uh, oh, me and Christmas. Obvious. No, okay, yeah, obvious. you can put that up after scores, sure. So everybody has to stay for after scores. Well, they'll maybe do it before the scores, mm -hmm. uh, like after the answers. And after before answers the answers before scores. All right, we can do that. Four scores four, seven years ago. Four scores. Thank you, Carl. I was ahead, about Carl. to do that. <laughs> All right. So do we get pictures of round things, like we'll know what that means. I, I do not have a PowerPoint for this. I will do them one at a time from the largest down to the smallest. Uh, that little thing just is the legend that, to show you the format. So we got Ganymede, which mm -hmm. orbits the planet Jupiter, is number one. Jupiter. Number two. Titan, orbiting Saturn. Little known. Uh trivia bit before titan was before it was realized that titan had a very thick atmosphere because of the thick atmosphere it was thought to be larger than ganymede hmm. yep. oh wow thanks Number susan <laughs> callisto lockhart <laughs> my favorite <laughs> xenopho not callista Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Orbiting Jupiter. <laughs> Number four, Io. Off to work we go. La, 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 la. Okay, we're getting tired. Yes. <laughs> Number five, our moon. Yay, we put our moon on it, but thought it which was. Which orbits our planet. Number four. Europa, another one of the Galilean satellites of Jupiter. Number seven, Triton, Neptune, one of Neptune's oh, moons. No. Eight, Titania. Oh, Roll, Titania. Wow, very Uranus. The ten rules the moon. The, the oh, only <laughs> planet you get where the moons are named after Shakespearean characters instead of mythical gods. Uh, Nine, Rhea, Saturn. Rhea. Oh. And lastly, number 10, Oberon. Oberon, the other Shakespearean character. You want to know what? We got them out of order, but we got them all. Well, the order oh, wow. Well, nice job. Good job. <clears throat> well done. Yeah, they didn't have to be in order, that's for sure. Otherwise, everyone... <laughs> <laughs> that would be way too hard. Well, all you know, right. So before Mom always to... liked us best. <laughs> before Take that. Scores, 
So why why are Shakes why are the moons of Uranus named after Shakespearean characters? Because they didn't have a lot of names back in those days. Because he liked body humor. So uh, Neptune was discovered after Uranus, and they came up with gods for that one. The original name for Neptune for Uranus was George's Star, named after King George, because William Herschel, who discovered it, was trying to suck up and become the astronomer royal. And England, for many, many years, refused to you to uh, go along with the name Uranus. So to placate them, they named the the moons after Shakespearean characters. Oh, it's politics! Nice. <laughs> and made sense. the moon made the planets name an ass. <laughs> <laughs> it, so the Spanish pronunciation is closest to the ancient Greek Uranus. Uranus. It's prettier. So like it's that. neither Uranus, which is a piss poor name for a planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the jokes about the rings around your anus. It's or the runners. fact that your anus is large and gassy. Uranus. <laughs> 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 we don't need to probe your anus to learn that. <laughs> oh, um, Alan, could you please quickly show us this video thing so that we don't have to have any more jokes about, you know, what it's moons. <laughs> Second so we are continually mooned. Um, uh, wait, so what do I have to do about getting sound on this? When you share it, you need to do it before you share. Okay, go back to your main page. Okay. Like unshare again. Unshare. unshare. Now, when you share at the very bottom, it says click this button for optical optimal video quality or something like that. And, and sound. It says. Sound, yeah. sound. Share sound. That's what it is. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Okay. This uh, is the video you like. Okay, yeah, this is the annual video. Yeah, I, I do it's this every Avi year. and Alan. And since we've seen it so many times, everyone's sing along. Yeah. Recognize that Christmas Carol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how serious they are at the end. That's funny. Okay. Your Steiners. That's lovely. Thank oh. you. Sure. Yeah, That's it's really beautiful. beautiful. All right, let's go score. We it. want a live performance next year. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, in everybody's house. <laughs> well, no, just on the Zoom. Oh, oh. Zoom. Yeah. But That'd with Avi? Good. Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. Well, I'll tell you, well, maybe, maybe when he's, uh, when he's here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, there you go. We could always have him. We could yeah. always have him doing it. Into Redmond. <laughs> I can join you. Ooh. With a live performance. There you go. Oh, yeah, Robin, there you go. They should Robin be practicing do it. together. We'll get it. We'll get a string trio. There you go. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay. So where are we at? Zoom emoji. Unicorn yeah, Mad Dog. This should move us all the way from last into fifth. We got six. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, autocorrect can kiss my ass. We got seven. That's reasonable. Miss you, Tommy. Mom always liked you best. We got seven as well. During the 
inter interregnum between souls. Yay! 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 Nicely done. Yeah, must be got Thursday. it. Interregnum. We had ten. <laughs> <laughs> The way Siri says it sounds kind of, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is that Siri? It's Google. Or whoever it is. It's she Google. sounds like she's whispering it because it's not very nice. Oh, interregnum. She's trying to be sexy. Interregnum. Yeah. All wow. right. So our team, team two took our name. So mom always liked team two best. Ten. Oh. Uh, <laughs> missed it wow. by that one much. point. And I didn't have any help i didn't do anything to help the, the cat that team on that last one so lean um, all the i stood out of the way that's what i did i backed off and thank I you didn't try to change anybody's <laughs> mind or anything everybody else knew that stuff i don't know that's my role susan <laughs> out of the way <laughs> at least you get the right categories too all righty so one point more you guys really blew it doesn't that feel bad you just I hope you feel <laughs> one point you would what have was to. the one they got wrong uh, it was believe it or round not, one. Um, it was, let's see, the last one in round one. And if we'd have gone for the answer I argued with, we'd have had a perfect score. Oh, I, I suggested F and like, eh. but our I wasn't, team, I wasn't at all our team didn't have that kind of pressure. We had no pressure on our team. <laughs> we had no pressure at all. <laughs> we were all fun. We were all we're fun. going for the most honest <laughs> team award. I, yeah, I just, we could be that, social all we wanted. I just kind of felt that saying it wasn't it had anything to do with religion was not an old timey response. I don't know, but I don't want to be on my brother's team anymore. No. <laughs> three that weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row. That's enough. Has it yeah. been three weeks? Really? Wow. Yeah, it's three I weeks in a row in last twice. place. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. We tied for last last week. So we were we were up there. Well, Robin All says right. she's never been on a winning team for a long time. That's so we said. were special. We were definitely special. So what's the pattern there, Robin? <laughs> that you see? Uh, it's, it's probably <laughs> that I'm stupid. That's the pattern. No, she gets Robin here late. not on Carl's team. <laughs> she gets here too late to help. She gets uh, here later in the Bill. team. Yeah, it's tardiness. The, That's what it is. The categories that she could help with are always at the beginning, and she's yeah. not here. Well, no, she gets true. here late, and she goes on the last place team, and they're already out. Right. The well, day. there's that. Well, for her I'm team, doing the she bonus that next they week. had four and four, and then she in six, and then she showed up, and they had seven and six. So I'm doing the bonus next week, Robin. What category do you want? Ah, uh, something about birds. <laughs> okay, what other category do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Luann. Something about Antarctica. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Antarctica. That's You're not going to be one. here next week, are you? I, I will. I will have that category after I get back. Because I understand back. we're having a lot of lectures on this boat, also. Oh, we'll have a well, lot. One of, of my friends, friends, Facebook friends, did that, and he, him and his wife went, and they had a blast. They saw the penguins and all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. if they cool. play trivia they on Antarctica? the boat, you should cool remember stuff? those questions. My brother flew for the Navy in the Antarctic support squadron, so he. Flew to McMurdo Sound and to the South Pole and to Vostok Station, which is out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, nice. And, uh, nice. So he, lots of go. pictures, Robin. He's got lots of pictures yeah. that he took from his uh, airplane seat uh, of Antarctica. We're uh, going to, we're leaving from Argentina. We're going to the Falklands, South Georgia Island, and a couple other ones, and then down to Antarctica. And are you going to yep. check out that one lighthouse down there? <laughs> I Sierra probably. Yes. Are you going to the Falklands or the Malvinas? Uh, they are the same. I know. <laughs> yeah, but are you going from Argentina or from some English-speaking place? From Argentina. Ushuaia. So. I think we should put on this video for the people who are watching that we are definitely an international group that have gone both to the North and South Pole within a month. Oh, who's right. been to the North Pole? Me. Santa. Bill just got back from the North Pole. He went a bunch of times. That was so oh, on the Polar Express. Yes. Well, how <laughs> else would you get there? Santa. He got to hang out with Santa. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, so next sweet. week we have Karen, Rob, Gail, mm -hmm. 
Karen. Wait, I've got Karen on here twice. <laughs> I'm glad I read that off. I need another person for next week. I will not be here. Writing my presentation for a certain skeptic camp. Yeah, that's true. You, you could move me I'll up from the following guys. week to next week if you want. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Maybe. I'll I'll see you guys next year. I'll see you next week. See you next, see you next week, yeah, Wendy. Well, we'll, well, we'll see you in trivia leaves. on Thursday because you before, won't be here yet. Before everyone yeah. leaves, um, I know Susan talked a little bit about the local skeptic <laughs> camp. I just want to remind you, if you decide at the last minute to come, I will volunteer to try and find accommodations for you that will, that will be home hospitality and not cost you an arm and a leg. We are also uh, one stop away from Phoenix if, as a hub and Los Angeles and San Francisco. So please come. Aww, she's and so it's beautiful. She get away from the snow. Get away. It's it's beautiful here. It might rain a little bit, but it's really beautiful. It's very quiet. Yeah. Adrian's going to come uh, come down here with her parkas and her stuff on. And we're going to be like, she's going to feel like she's in the summer weather and being short. You want to know something straight crazy? It has been over freezing every day. I went out with a light sweater on today. It's over wow. freezing where she's at. It's it's been warm here, here too. No snow. Snow's gone. We have no snow here either. So you'll feel right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah, almost but, never but, have snow here. It's unusual for us to be this warm. You see, yeah, I have spring unusual. flowers. I have I have flowers coming up for spring right now. It's, it's fifty five degrees tomatoes. outside right now. I still have tomatoes. I still have a couple tomatoes. Well, it's yeah. right at freezing right now here, but it does that overnight and it'll warm up during the day. A light it's jacket lovely. will get you fine over here, or you can borrow something, Adrian. Use your use your space in your luggage and uh for something else. Jane, Jane, this is about the weather you all have up there, so you won't notice anything. And Wendy, of course, and, and you guys coming from LA, it's gonna be cooler than what you than LA. Yeah, a little bit cooler. Yeah. It's cold in the mornings and overnight. But it warms up. It, it was sunny this afternoon when I took Jackie out. Mm -hmm. It's it, never it, cold it, in California. It's probably going to rain. It's never um, cold in California. Well, it never rains well, um, in the San good, Jose. The the good good news it's going to rain in, in uh, it's probably going to rain on Saturday, though. The good news is the humor is very dry here. <laughs> and, the and the personalities are very warm. Yay. Oh, oh. So they say. I don't know if that's yeah. true. But not. sometimes the moods are cloudy yeah <laughs> okay so um happy new year to everybody who celebrates new year new year I gotcha. happy new year coming up soon celebrate, yeah. um, see you next so year guys yeah, anybody see you next year. Does not celebrate new year's well maybe some, some people, people celebrate it at different times they don't oh, that's right. some people forget <laughs> some people you can. forget farewell right. everybody Merry live long and prosper, prosper. Hey. Live Take long care, and everybody prosper. all right <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,